Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, The Tech Piano Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in braille. Warning, in Time Crisis 2, it gets more intense. Please note that it does get more intense and there are some scenes that are a little bit uneasy. You have been warned. What is up everyone, the Tech Piano Player Kid here and we're going to continue on Chapter 8 of Time Crest, uh, Time Crest 2 to be exact. Time Crest. And we just left off where um, everyone was uh, just finished the trials and yeah, it didn't go as well as planned basically. So, here we go. Time Crest, alert, no internet. Time, retry, button. <laughs> System message. There it goes. Chapter eight. Mess 140 goal. And obviously, uh, we're back and now Ash has been taken to Ion because um Ash was in the trouble case and Chronos took Ash to Ion. Messages. Heading. Chapter eight. Ellipsis. Oh, I just woke up. Ellipsis. System message. Ash is waiting. So you didn't just send me a message. One of one responses. Button. So you didn't just send me a message? Messages. Heading. And responded. So you didn't just send me a message? Muted. No, I didn't. Are you telling me you received another message? Oh. Speaking of volume. 50, 60 percent. Sorry about that. 100 out of 2,100 messages. Head responded. So you didn't just send me messages. So, uh. Image. So, um, Ash just woke up and she said, hmm. So I just woke up and then I said, uh, so you didn't send me another message. And then Ash said. Responded. So you, no, I didn't. Are you telling me you received another message? Do you know if it's from the same person? Did they mention a dollar? System message. Ash is waiting. No, this one was different. One of one responses. No, this one was different. One of one responses. Messages. Heading. Responded. No, this one was different. Well, you won't believe this, but Kronos is sitting in this room right now. Blue message. Ash, I trust you slept well. Okay. Kronos said. Ash, I trust you slept well. I'm telling Kronos he sure kept me waiting for a long time after being the one who said he needed to talk. I'll report back in with you after my conversation with him. Blue message, no need, Ash, your friend is welcome to listen in. Kronos said, no need, Ash, ellipsis. System message, Ash is waiting. It's fine. I heard him, one of one responses, it's fine. I heard him. Messages, responded, freely. How did Kronos communicate to you? Blue message, I've cast a spell on your pocket watch that allows your friend to speak with me directly. What? Why? Blue message, you and your human friend have become quite close. I'm asking Kronos if he could hear you too. Blue message, yes, I can. Oh boy. System message, Ash is waiting. So were you the one who sent me the message earlier? About your greatest mistake, one of one responses. But, so were you the one who sent me the message earlier? About your greatest mistake? Message, responded, blue message, a question already? You're quick to catch on to things. Blue message, but I have no idea what you're referring to. What? Oh boy. Wah, 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 wah. It certainly does make it easier for me that you can talk to Kronos directly. I'm asking him about the trials. Mages died. Blue message. The guild masters are sorting it out. Sorting it out. Speaking rate. False. Spe word, skip. Up. Care, question. Mark, T. Word, that's it. Blue message. What would you have me do? Something more than sorting it out. Blue message. Would you have me hunt down Ignis in the name of justice? No, I'm telling Crow knows that the man that killed all of those mages was a- No. Whoops. No, I'm telling Crow knows that the man that killed all of those mages was an imposter. Blue message, Ash, that man is Ignis, the former master of fire. The Ignis I knew would never hurt all those innocent people. He loved helping others. I'm going to talk to this imposter and find out why he's disguising himself as Ignis. Blue message, that's your plan? To talk to him? I don't like this idea, Ash. That's not a very good idea. And this is the real Ignis. Just saying. I'm asking Kronos if he's going to stop me. Sorry, guys. Blue message. Your brother would say that it's foolish to think you can change a man from what he has become to what you think he should be. But I am not Luther anymore. That was... <laughs> that was uh, my hand... My wrist cracked. <laughs> sort of. Thanks for reminding me of that. Blue message, if you want to find Ignis, that is your prerogative. But you should know that Ignis is extremely dangerous. If you bring your friends to see him, I guarantee that he will gravely hurt all of you. So you are trying to stop me. Blue message, no, Ash, I called you here to tell you that I won't stop you. Don't sneak around for my sake. Just know the consequences of your decisions. 
Ellipsis. Kronos is looking me in the eye now. Blue message, Ash, I was truly surprised to find you alive, after all these years. Surprised, but not happy, huh? Blue message, happiness is complicated. Let's just say I'm glad that you're standing here. I'm asking Kronos what he's holding. Just noticed that there was a strange object on his lap. It's in the shape of a tome, but it's made out of shiny metal. It looks like it's thin and has no pages in the middle. So it's definitely not a tome or at least one I've seen the likes of before. System message, Ash is waiting. Crow knows, are you using a laptop? One of two responses. Or... Crow knows, what are you looking at? Two of two... Crow knows, are you using a laptop? One of two responses. Button. And I'll use this. Crow knows, are you using a laptop? One of two res respond A laptop? Blue message, yes. This is a laptop. Blue message, it's a machine from the human world. Your friend may have a more advanced model by now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, actually, we don't even know what version he has. We, we don't even know which, which one he had. I mean, for all we know, it could be a... For all we know, it could be a MacBook Pro 2007 or something, or 2010. I don't know. Oh, cool. It's from the human world? I've never seen a human relic before. Blue message, you can hold it, if you like. He's offering it to me. I'm telling Kronos, Ellipsis, no. Why? What? What? But you put the... You, uh, you just... You wanted to... You wanted to... You see something from the human... Okay. I'm telling him I need to speak with you privately for a moment. He's raising an eyebrow at me. Blue message, very well. Messages, now, Damon. Blue message, very well. I'm asking Kronos how do I know he won't just listen in using magic. Blue message, you'll just have to trust me, won't you, Ash? Ellipsis. Okay, I'm outside the room. Trying to whisper so Kronos can't hear me. I wanted to ask you if we should ask Kronos about those weird dreams I've been having and the weird messages you've been receiving. I almost don't want to ask him because I don't want him to mess with our heads, you know? I'm afraid he'll just tell us some lie that leads us to a dead end. System message, Ash is waiting. Don't mention it. Deep down, I know Crow knows is still- Don't mention it. I don't trust Crow knows either. One of two responses- I don't know. Because like... Okay. I'm gonna say this. This is probably a spoiler alert. Actually, this is a spoiler alert. If you say this one... Don't, deep down. Descript, deep down, I know Kronos is still your brother. Let's listen to what he has to say. Two of two responses. Button. Or... Don't mention it. I don't trust Kronos either. One of two responses. That was well, actually the other way around, but still. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me save this. Top menu back. Because I want to save this, Top. just in case it happens. Settings. Settings. Load com settings. Contract. Um, Grip, if you if contract, contract, vertical, last save game. Save, Button, save game, alert, can't save, save, alert. Okay. okay, okay. Settings, heading, time, time, the door, continue. Button, okay, continue. continue. Deep down, pocket watch, music play, pocket descriptive hail. Deep down, I know, don't, sist, I'm, I almost, I'm, sist, don't mention it. Deep down, I know, crow, no, don't mention it. I okay, let's see what happens don't here. Mention it. I don't trust Crow respond. Yeah, it's really hard for me to trust him too. He certainly hasn't done much to earn it. I'm heading back inside. I'm back inside. Blue message. Did you want to tell me something? I'm telling him that I want to know how he found me. And why he didn't find me sooner. Blue message. I see. Blue message. I sensed your connection to the human world. In the beginning, I didn't believe it. But eventually I was convinced of your identity. What convinced you? Blue message. Who convinced me? Riley did. Indirectly. Oh. Blue message. She wanted to hide you away, protect you from me. But for all the danger she conjured in her head, I see you, safe and healthy, before me. Riley, ellipsis. Blue message. She pushed you Message. It. Blue message. She pushed you off of Ion, didn't she? I'm asking Crow knows how he knew about that. Blue message. I get vague images when time is shifted. Bits and pieces of different timelines. Blue message. Join me, Ash, and you can begin to understand who you truly are. My answer is still no, not after what I've seen. I'm telling Crow knows that I'm not going to join him after what he did to the people of Boulder. 
After what he did to Riley's family, ellipsis. After what I've seen him do to Riley. Glue message, okay, I won't ask again. Glue message, how is Riley, by the way? I'm telling Crow knows that I don't believe he cares for Riley at all. That I think he just wants to use her blood to power up Bion for whatever purpose he needs this fortress for. Okay, I think you're overacting there, Ash. Blue message, Ash, I have no ill will towards the princess. She was very good to our family. She's the reason you're here today. Wait, Speaking he has no what? Words, what? Blue, me, ash, cap, ha, no, oh, oh, I, L, L, space, wor, will, towards. Speaking right, oh. I saw Riley handing a bundle to my folks in Lyle. Blue message, yes, it was indeed Riley who left you with your adoptive parents. How come Riley never told me this herself? How come, how come Riley never told me this herself? How come she never came to visit me? Blue message, that is a question for Riley. I'm asking Kronos what happened, ellipsis, to our birth parents? Blue message, I don't want to talk about that, Ash. Let's move on. Why did the music just pause? I'm telling Kronos that he seems agitated. He's taking my hand. Kronos is running a finger over the scar on my hand. It's a scar I had before I could remember things, ellipsis. I'm not sure how I got it. I'm asking him what he's doing. Blue message, there are some things I can't, no, shouldn't erase. I'm asking him what he's talking about. He's letting. I'm asking him what ah. he's talking about. He's letting go of go. my hand. Blue message. It's nothing. We were talking about Riley. Blue message. Our family, especially our mother, loved Riley very much. I guess he's not going to answer my question. Blue message. And I believe Riley loved all of us very much as well. Chrono's calm demeanor has returned. Ellipsis. Blue message. When Riley's own mother succumbed to the Valdorian disease, our mother thought of Riley as if she were her own. The Valdorian disease, ellipsis, I remember. When I went to Valdor in the past, I saw a sister kill her brother, ellipsis. Riley's mother died because of a disease? I thought she died when Valdor was destroyed. Blue message, you should brush up on your history, Ash. Ellipsis. I'm telling Crow knows that Riley went to speak with Ezra on his behalf. Blue message, I know. System message, Ash is waiting. You seem to know a lot about Riley. One of two res- Crow knows, are you fond of the princess? Two of two responses. But, you seem to know a lot about Riley. One of two responses. Button. Hmm. He do- he does seem to know about Riley. You he, seem to he, know a lot about Riley. He does. One of two respond- Blue message, we grew up together. Blue message, if things had turned out differently, we might have remained close. I'm asking Crow knows if he killed all of the Valdorians. If he killed Riley's family. Blue message, all- there are still four alive today. Huh. I thought Riley was the only Valdorian left. Except for King Janna's, when he was still alive. Ellipsis. Blue message, I did spare Janna's. You spared him so you could use him to obtain Riley's servitude. Blue message, he wanted you to think that. Blue message, but I'm sure he didn't mention how he started the Valdorian disease. Blue message, a disease Janna spread to kill his own people. What? But why would he do that? That's what I want to know. Blue message. Janus zealously hated all humans and those descended from humans. He created the wretched disease and told his people that it came from humans and their technology. He murdered his own people just to create fear and distrust of humans. Wow. I'm telling Crow knows that he certainly gave Janus a good reason to hate him. Blue message. Not before he gave me mine. Blue message. The reason I spared Janus had nothing to do with Riley. Blue message. I spared Janus because I wanted to see him suffer as a decrepit, crippled old man with his empire and ruins around him. Dude. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Ouch. I understand that you might hate Janna's. But destroying all of Valder. System message. Ash is waiting. How could you take so many innocent lives? One of two responses. Button. You must have had your reasons for doing it. Two of two responses. Button. You must have had your reasons for doing it. T Respond. Huh. You're taking his side? System message, Ash is waiting. I'm just saying someone like Kronos must have reasons for his actions. One of one responses, but I'm just saying someone like Kronos must have reasons. Responded, blue message, an astute observation. A, a what? Character, word, blue, mess, un, astute. Ast what? Blue message, I did have my reasons. But why? I'm telling him that he can say he has reasons, but what are they? Blue message, my reasons are no longer important to me. Why? Blue message, if one is to move forward, they cannot dwell on the past. Blue message, all you need to know is that I have no regrets for what I did. Why? Ellipsis. System message, Ash's way. Why fight Ezra when it could destroy Alincia? One of two respond. Did you summon the meteors? Two of two responses. Button. Um. Why fight Ezra when it could destroy Alincia? One of two responses. Button.
Let me. Wi Fi I don't know. Respond. Blue message. Contrary to what you two think of me, I don't want to destroy Alicia. Blue message. In our fight on top of Mount Ashra many years ago, I froze Ezra along with the meteors he summoned. Blue message. Ezra has a vendetta against me. He doesn't. Blue Oops. message. Ezra has a vendetta against me. He doesn't care how many innocent lives are lost to get to me. Blue message. Ash, you've been awfully quiet. System message. Ash is waiting. Something wrong. Ash, one of two responses. Ash, say something. Two of two. Something wrong. Ash, something wrong. Ash, one of. Responded. Ellipsis. Merrick Stewart. Merrick. Care. Period. Word. Blue message. The human descendant that got expelled. I'm telling Crow knows that Merrick was expelled by his rules. Blue message. I'm merely upholding a Lincian law. Then why is my my question is then why is Ash why has Ash not been ex ex I'm confused. Blue message. You're turning red. Ash. Blue message. Is that all of your questions? Don't you want to know why I unfroze a maniac like Ezra and unfroze the meteors, all of which I had exerted so much energy to stop? Blue message. What I would do if I was discovered to be a human descendant? Blue message. Or what I would do if you were discovered to be a human descendant? System message. Ash is storming off. System message. Ash is waiting. What was it all about? One of two responses. Why did you just shut down? Two of two. What was it all about? One of. What was Jeez. it all about? Responded. I walked out of there. Ellipsis. I don't want to talk anymore. System message. Will you talk to me then? One of two responses. But take some time to cool your head. Seems like you need it. Two of two responses. Yeah, Ellipsis. Ash does seem to need it. Take some time to cool your head. Seems like you need. Respond. Thanks for understanding. Ellipsis. I do need some time to think. Talk. System. I do need some time to think. Talk to you later. Sis, three hours. Use master of time to. All right, we'll click use that. master of time to skip busy time. Respond. Thanks for understanding. I. Sis, hey there. Ellipsis. Hi. I'm attending the funeral service for the mages that died in the trials. It's wrapping up, but there are still a lot of parents who are demanding to know what happened. Head guild master Crane is working through the crowd gathering around him right now. System message. Ash is waiting. Are you ready to talk about what happened with Kronos? One of three responses. But I don't think Ash is ready yet. What are they saying happened? Two of. Is Adam's mom there? Three of three responses. Button. What are they saying happened? Two of three responses. <laughs> I'm gonna do this what one. What are they saying happened? Because I responses. feel like Ash was to look Messages. for Adam's mom. The guild masters are pinning it on unknown assailants for now. <laughs> Ellipsis. I don't believe that. Thanks, Ellipsis. We're not asking me about Kronos yet. Anyway, I saw Allison before the funeral started. She participated in the trials too. I was so happy to see that she had survived. But she said something strange when I went to talk to her. Allison said, he didn't kill me. Apparently her group had walked in on the imposter, Ellipsis, when he was in the act of burning down another group of mages. While her teammates were horrified by what was happening, Allison told me she accidentally said, what awesome power. She covered her mouth right after those words escaped her lips. She didn't mean to say it like that. Before she realized it, her teammates were torched and lay in ashes around her. Oof. The man who killed them looked at her directly before teleporting away. She asked me, Ash, did you see him too? Allison asked, or did I see a ghost? I told her I'm glad she's alive and to not think too much of it. Her parents are with her. They seemed very worried. My parents are here with me too. I'm telling them about you so that we'll be free to talk. I'm apologizing to my folks. I know it's dangerous to contact the human world when it's against a Lincian law, but your help has been invaluable to me. My mom said, don't you feel sorry for a thing. I'm just happy you had someone there for you when we couldn't be. Dad said, Mom's right. As long as you're safe, we are happy. System message, Ash is waiting. Nice to meet your parents. Ash, one of two res- Tell your parents that you're in good hands. Two of two responses. Button. Nice to meet your parents. Ash, tell your parents that you're in good hands. Two of two res- Nice to meet your parents. Nice to meet your parents. Respond, I'm telling Mom and Dad that. She said, Nice to meet you too. Thank you for taking care of my Ash. Mom said, Now is that the head guild master who's talking right now? She's pointing at head guild master Crane. She said, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind for putting you kids in danger like that. While they couldn't have known about the assailants, a basilisk breeding den for a beginner's trial. Mom said, that's just reckless and I'll not have anyone be reckless with your life, Ash. Yeah, cause, th yeah. I'm telling mom that mages are in danger every day. If it's not the basilisk caves, it would be something else. Some mages here are young, but we've all chosen to join guilds. Mom said, I know, Ash. I just want to be able to help you in some way. Praise the first, you weren't hurt in the Tremble Caves. I told her she already helps me plenty. Just knowing there's a warm home waiting for me back in Lyle is so comforting. Dad said, you should come visit us more often, Ash. I know both Mom and I would love that. Mom said, come home anytime, Ash. I'll make sure a hot meal is waiting for you. 
I'm thanking mom and dad. Mom said, how is Princess Riley by the way? Is she comfortable living in Ion? Does Master Kronos treat her well? Ellipsis. I'm telling mom that Riley is traveling to find someone. I haven't spoken with her lately. Mom said, well next time you see Riley, please invite her to visit us. Oh, I see Roger. Dad said, go ahead. Mom and I will wait for you here. I'm walking over. Roger said, are those your parents? They're I know. Roger Oops. said, are those your parents? They're waving at me. I nodded. I'm asking Roger if his parents are here. He said, no, my mom is dead. I do have a dad and brother, but Windsor Howell is really far away. I'm asking Roger if they can just use a teleport orb. He said, they are busy people too. And I'm okay, so it's understandable they are not here. Roger put his hands on his hips and shot me a smile. He said, my family isn't here because they know I'm strong and can take care of myself. Hmm, interesting. Roger said, anyway, I thought it was really brave of you to try to save those mages from the basilisks. I didn't save anyone though. Roger shrugged. He said, I know I would have figured some way to get us all out of there eventually, but I'm impressed you decided to help so quickly even against those odds. He said, did you find Adam's mom yet? I told him not yet. I'm going to go look for her. He said, seems like this funeral is over. I'm going to finish reading Master Frost's tome. Talk to you later. Some golds were assigned to hand out the remains of the mages who died to their parents. There's so much pain on people's faces. I hate it. System message, ashes. What if Ignis caused it? One of three risks. Pain will heal with time. I never know what to say on these occasions. What if Ignis caused it? I feel like in that kind of case, like that kind of pain would never heal because like you lost a loved one. It's like, I don't know, like a part of you is like just gone, basically. What if Ignis caused it? One of three res what if it so I'll do this it? one. One of three responses. Messages. Heading. Responded. If that imposter. Ellipsis. If he really was Ignis. Ellipsis. No. I can't even begin to process that thought. I know it isn't him. As far as you know. I'm going to try to find Adam's mom. I promised I would give her Adam's gold. Don't you even want to talk to her for a little bit, Portia? I hear Elise's voice. She's standing with a tall woman with fiery, wavy red hair. Portia said, I came here for you, not for her. I'm waving at them. Elise looked at me and immediately looked away. She said, this way, Portia, you wanted to visit the merchant, right? Portia glanced at me. She walked over with Elise quietly following behind her. Portia said, and who might you be? I introduced myself. I told Portia that Elise was my teammate for the trials. Portia said, Elise mentioned you. You and your friend that you talk to all of the time. She said, you must have made quite an impression. I never hear Elise talk about anything related to her guild. This woman must be Elise's mom. Elise's face turned red, ellipsis. I'm asking her what's wrong? Portia said, Elise is just embarrassed by having her mom here, that's all. Elise said, I am never embarrassed by you, Portia. Portia shrugged and smiled. She said, I should visit the merchant. Let's go. Portia is giving me another glance. She said, it's rare for Elise to take a liking to someone. Elise said, and I haven't taken a liking to anyone else other than you, Portia. <laughs> Portia smiled. She said, Ash, if you are ever near Orumhella, please come by Blood Moon Haven. She said, it's our home and we'd be glad to have you over. It was nice to put a face to a name. See you later, Ash. Okay. I said goodbye to Elise and her mom. Her mom is... I, I said goodbye to Elise and her mom. Her mom is really nice. I can't believe those two are related. They don't look or behave alike. Ellipsis. I wonder if A, C, is here too. I don't see him around. The funeral is clearing out. I better go find Adam's mom. Hang on, Ellipsis. There's something going on, Ellipsis. System message. Ash is busy. 18 minutes. Use master of time Click to on that. use master of time to skip busy. I said, I can't believe it. I said goodbye to Elise and her mom. I can't. The few I better hang on. System ma there was a loud scream. It's from one of the parents. She's being handed her child's remains. She uh, she's being handed her child's remains. She's crying out, my son. Uh, ellipsis. Well, most of the victim's ashes were placed in urns. This one was different. She was she opened it, ellipsis, and I guess there were just the salvaged pieces of her son placed in the box. Ellipsis. She's crying out, my Adam, my Adam, ellipsis, tell me what happened to my poor boy. Why didn't you save him? Three exclamation marks. <sighs> Give me a moment, guys. Uh, I I did cry on this part, but I'm trying to hold it back. Uh, okay. Even though the funeral is over, 
parents are still crowding around the head guild master. One parent grabbed onto head guild master Crane's collar. He said, you jerk. Answer us, why didn't this guild do anything to protect these children? He said, I would never have let my daughter come here, ellipsis, if I knew, ellipsis, this was going to happen. The head guild master glared down at the man. I wonder if he's going to yell at the man. Head guild master Crane said, I apologize for your loss. The man's eyes widened as he looked at his own hands clutching the head guild master's collar. The man quickly withdrew his hands. The man said, head guild master Crane, your apology will not bring my daughter back, ellipsis. The head guild master said, we have already dispatched guild master Fulger to investigate the assailants. We should have more information soon. We cannot bring your children back, but I assure you we are doing everything we can to bring the people who did this to justice. Adam's mom said, can't you ask Master Kronos to bring my Adam and our children back, head guild master Crane? Master Kronos froze and destroyed the meteors, after all, I'm sure there's nothing he can do. The head guild master said, this guild is built in honor of Master Kronos, but he does not involve himself with guild activities after he appointed us as guild masters. Another parent said, that can't be true, three exclamation marks, I heard from my enemy that you guild masters visit Ion all the time. Plus, Master Kronos has been seen walking the halls of Time Crest recently. Adam's mom said, we demand an audience with Master Kronos, we know you can get us one head guild master crane. Ask Master Kronos to come down from Ion. The head guild master sighed. He shook his head and said, I'm afraid, ellipsis. Blue message, it's fine, Oliver, I am here. How did he... Okay, how did he know what was... Okay then. Head guild master crane looked over and frowned at Kronos, who had just phased into the area with a brilliant glow of light. Adam's mom said, please help bring my child back master Kronos. Please, I beg you. She was on her hands and knees. Blue message, if there were any way to bring back Adam and all the lives that were tragically lost, I would give my life to do so. You all have seen what I would risk for Lincia. Blue message, none of this is fair. Adam deserved to live a happy life. You deserve to see your child grow into an amazing adult that I'm sure he would have been. Blue message, but he was taken from you by horrible monsters. I personally will work with the guild masters of Time Crest to find the perpetrators and bring them to justice. Kronos is offering his hand to Adam's mom. Blue message, you're a brave woman. Stand with me and I promise to fight for a world that you deserve. Ellipsis. Adam's mom wiped away her tears and took Kronos' hand. The crowd, head guild master ah! Adam's mom wiped away her tears and took Kronos' hand. The crowd clapped when she got to her feet. Head guild master Crane whispered something into Kronos' ear. Kronos nodded. Blue message, everyone, I must meet with the guild masters to start our fight. Spread the word that Kronos will fight for what you all deserve. Ellipsis. Kronos is leaving with the head guild master. I don't understand why Kronos made that speech. Almost seems like he cares, but I think he's just here to sort it out. At least he didn't mention Ignis as a culprit. Gives me some time to prove the man I met in the Tremble Caves is an imposter. No, I don't think so. System message, Ash is waiting. Your talk could have changed Kronos. Maybe he's doing something more like you wanted. One of two resp- Kronos must be planning something. Two of two responses. Button. Your talk could have changed Kronos. Maybe he's doing something more like you wanted. One of two responses. Button. Your talk could have changed Kronos. Maybe that Maybe one. Responded. I highly doubt that. You never know. You really never know. I hope time will reveal what he's up to. Anyways, I need to speak with Adam's mom. Ellipsis. If she asks about what happened, do you think I should mention Connor? Sister. Yes. Adam said Connor killed him. One of two responses. Button. Yes. Adam said Connor killed him, one of two responses, responded, yes, Adam's mom deserves to know the truth, ellipsis, or at least what we know. I'm heading over to talk to her, catch you after. I feel like Connor did. System message, Ash, 24 minutes, use master of time to skip, use master, responded, yeah, Adam's mom deserves, or I'm, sis, I sure had a lot of explaining to do when I handed Adam's gold pouch over to his mom. System message, Ash gave Adam's gold pouch to Adam's mom. But she was grateful to hear we helped make Adam comfortable in his last moments. Then I mentioned Connor. I told her that when Adam was beneath the rocks, he said, Connor did this to me. Adam's mom asked me if I reported this to the guild masters. When I said I didn't, she got really angry at me. She yelled at me for withholding information on what happened to her son. Adam's mom also started suspecting that I had something to do with Adam's death. And she told me she was going to speak with the guild masters about this. She must be just so overwhelmed by everything so I don't think that information went over too well with her. That's what I think. I, th I think she just, and I don't. I can't blame her either because, like, I mean, if I, obviously, um, you know, if my parents were in that situation, I'm sure they would be the same way. But I don't regret telling her the truth. Whatever comes my way because of it, I'll deal with it. Anyways, I'm at the administration chambers now. It was close to where I was. 
The latest leads on quests and news around Alincia is here. I was hoping to find some clues on where to look for the imposter. I spoke with the administration officers already. They said a new quest just came in. Citizens who traveled recently through Nightshade Forest have reported seeing a couple of suspicious figures searching around the forest. A woman dressed in white and wearing a bone mask has been spotted wandering the paths of the forest. There are also reports of a strange sound coming from deep within the place. People want answers on what's going on. The goal of the quest is to scout and report the findings back to the guild. I told them to sign me up for the quest. The reward is 250 gold each to anyone that completes it, but of course, I'm interested in more than just the money. Nice. The woman in the bone mask was with the imposter. She could know his whereabouts. The only thing is, Ellipsis, the administrators told me because of the horrific events that happened during the copper trials, we are only allowed to leave time crest in pairs or more. Teleporting directly out of the guild has been disabled to make sure the mages adhere to the safety protocol. We have to pass through one of the main gates now or use the griffin transport to get out. Seems like a hassle. I don't- and Seems like a hassle. I don't see how that helps since we were in groups during the trials, but I guess it isn't the first useless rule I've come across. Anyways, this means I need to find someone to travel with. I'm going to look for A, C, Roger, or Elise, and hopefully be able to convince someone to join me on this quest. I've grown pretty comfortable traveling with them. Plus, no more awkward conversations explaining why I need to keep talking to a pocket watch. <laughs> Good point. I'm going to look around Time Crest for them. At least we're able to still teleport within Time Crest. Ellipsis. One more thing. I drew you a map of Time Crest and put it inside the Infinity Pouch. System message, gain Time Crest map. It doesn't have all the places you can go to in the guild, nor is it fully accurate, ellipsis, but I just wanted to start showing you where I spend my days in some way. Oh, I also started on a world map too. I'll put it inside the pouch, but it's nowhere near complete. I hope I get a chance to finish it later. System message, gained unfinished map of Alincia. Anyways, if you want to take a look, ellipsis. System mess, that's right. You're an artist, one of three responses. This map has, ellipsis, character, two of three responses. My eyes hurt from looking at it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay! Okay! Oh, boy. That's right. You're an artist. One of three responses. Button. This map has ellipsis. Character. Two of three responses. Button. I feel like that's a nice way of saying it because, like, like you're not being mean, but yet you're not, like, you're saying it in a way that's, like, you know, hey, it's a start kind of a thing. This map like, has ellipsis. I don't know. Resp I'm not it ready yet, ellipsis. Okay, I know it could use a lot of work. But right now, it's the closest thing I could make that allows me to show you more. And the practice is good for me. As they say, it's good to hit two muffies with one leg. Uh, sure? System message, Ash is waiting. Who's they? One of two responses. But, it sure is. Two who's they? One of two who's they? One of two res responded. Someone must have said something that makes so much sense. AT and AT. The time crest, the time crest map should give you some idea of the distances between it. Anyways, I need to find one of my teammates and uh. I want to complete them someday. I haven't included every- This line has to be- Someone must have said something that there makes so much sense. This line has to be in a tome somewhere. I haven't included every location on the map of time crest, but I added a whole bunch of details I hope you will enjoy. I want to complete them someday, especially the map of Alincia. The time crest map should give you some idea of the distances between each place I frequently visit. Anyways, I need to find one of my teammates and convince them to join me on this quest. I'm currently outside the administration chambers. Where should we start looking? System message, Ash is awaiting. Map location, Apple Courtyard, one of eight lo Walk to Apple Court, use teleport, map location, Grand Library. Mm -hmm. Three of eight walk to, use teleport, map location, Drake Heaven. Three of eight, walk to, use tel map location, Time Crest Merchant. Four of eight, lo walk to, use map location, Lock M. Five of eight locations, living quarters for Roger Mendenhall and Elise Maybell. What? Use teleport or map location, gardens, six of eight locations, Riley, ellipsis. When I walk by the gardens nowadays, I always look expecting to see her there. What? Use tele map location, Loxy, seven of eight locations. Since A, C's last name is Crane, this should be where he lives, ellipsis. I'm trying to figure out where he would be. You know what? I wonder if he's at the crest. <laughs> at the Time Crest Merchant. You, map location. Use teleport orb to teleport to block M. Walk, Where is map it? location. Block M. Five of eight location. Use teleport orb to teleport to Time Crest Merchant. Walk to Time Crest Merchant. Forty minutes. Button. Click that. To time alert. Walk. Cancel. Walk. Top menu. Use Master of Time to use Click Master that. of Time. To system descriptive hail pocket de they can possibly all have a hope one of my teammates want system message arrived at the time hope one of my teammates wanted to shop at the merchant. They can possibly all have AMP cards, can they? I'm heading inside. It'll be good to say hi to him as well. 
Ever since he gave me the AMP card, he's been bugging me to visit once in a while. I always thought it was kind of strange that I don't know his real name, but that's as I always thought it was kind of strange that I don't know his real name, but that's how it works in the merchant world. As soon as someone joins the merchants union, their identities are erased and they're known only by their shop. Ew. The leader of the merchants union established this rule. I think it's kind of unfair to ask people to give up their identities. I don't understand what purpose such a rule has. So now a merchant is just the time press merchant, but I wonder who he was before? System message, Ash is waiting. Why do you care about this, Ash? One of two res- Why don't you ask the time press merchant about the rule? Two of two responses, button. Why don't you hmm. ask the time press merchant about the rule? Resp- Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to talk to him about it. Give me a moment to say hi. Talk, system message, Ash is talking with the merch. Two minutes, fifty. Use master of time to Click skip. that. Use master of time. Respond, yeah. I'm going to give the assist. Okay, I finished speaking with the merchant. I'm just outside the shop. He told me he doesn't know the reason behind the strict name change rule the merchant union employs. He also doesn't have any memories of his birth parents. The merchant's union raised him since he was a baby, so he has no idea if his parents even gave him a name. Who? The merchant said, although I wouldn't mind if I found out my name was Mr. Riley Valder. He is... He's really weird when he talks about Riley. Yeah, I agree. The Time Press merchant mentioned the union records most likely has information on his birth parents, but those records are off limits. I suggested he travel to places he remembers being in before coming to Time Crest. Someone, somewhere in those places, might know something. He said, oh I couldn't really do that, ellipsis, my boss would skin me alive. I guess if I ever visit the merchant city, or Umhella, I should pay his boss a visit. Maybe I can find out something for him or at least get their leader to rethink the naming rule. Oh no, it's you. Hey, I know that annoyed voice. <clears throat> it's a C. Yup! Right when the music plays. We found one of my teammates. A, C, is grinding his teeth. He said, why did I come here? I knew people like you could be walking around. My mistake. I'm asking him what brings him out of his beloved solitude. He smirked, but then quickly changed his face to his usual frown. A, C, said, I got a letter from the merchant saying my Sword Hill tech raid was in stock now. I'm asking him why he doesn't just enroll in the AMP card system. I ex- he, sa uh, he said, you mean the merchant can just send me messages whenever he feels like it? No thanks. I told him I just spoke with the merchant and he was trying to sell me a Sword Hill upgrade. I'm asking A, C, what if the merchant only had one of those upgrades and he sold it before A, C, could walk over? The AMP card allows you to see stock and get your items instantly. Plus you can shop from anywhere in the world. A, C, said, what? That idiot tried to sell my upgrade? I'm going to skin him alive, ellipsis. Uh oh, ellipsis, I'm telling A, C, to take it easy. He probably has more than one upgrade. Anyways, I'm telling A, C, about the quest. He said, are you thick spelled or what? No way I'm accompanying you. System message, A, C, is marching into the merchant's shop. A, C, came back out, ellipsis, he looks furious. He said, what are you still doing here? I'm asking him if he got his upgrade. He said, I don't have enough gold, but I convinced the merchant it would be best for him if he didn't sell my upgrade until I got the gold. Ellipsis, poor time press merchant, ellipsis. I'm telling A, C, the quest I talked about earlier rewards each participating mage 250 gold, and that he should join me on it. A, C, said, I'm just going to go do the quest myself. I'm telling him the quest is already assigned to me, and I can't go alone because of the new rule of traveling in pairs. He said, that's dumb. But fine, I'll go with you on this quest. Awesome. We can't teleport directly out of the guild grounds, but we can teleport to the northern gate. Nightshade Forest is just a short walk from there. A, C, said, wouldn't an orb be a waste? I can probably run to Nightshade Forest in less than 15 minutes. I'm telling him not everyone is as physically fit as him. What do you think? System, teleport to the northern, required, just walk it. Two of two responses, just walk it. Two of two responses. Use master, descriptive hair, use 29 minutes, system, okay, I'll just try to run with A, C, to Nightshade Forest, talk to, S 29 minutes, use master of time, like use master of time, responded, okay, I'll, sis, we're here, A, C, said, let's get this over with, I'm telling A, C, if he keeps a positive mindset, he might actually find the journey fun, he said, remind me why I agreed to this again, I'm telling him he needs his upgrade part, he said, right, darn it, Ellipsis, I see someone up ahead. Oh, it's Elise. She's heading into Nightshade Forest. Two. A, C, said, no way. That girl, this day just keeps on getting worse. I'm telling A, C, we should catch up to Elise. A, C, said, no way. We're sticking to the mission objectives so we can finish and collect our pay as quickly as possible. 
System message, Ash is wait. Spend some alone time with A, C, one of two responses, button. Uh. Try to catch up with Elise, two of two responses, button. I don't... I don't know! I don't know. Try to catch up with Elise. Mess respond and A C said, didn't you just hear me? I said no way. We need to focus on the mission so we can get this over with as fast as possible. I'm telling him I did hear him. That's why I think catching up to Elise will help us finish this mission sooner. She has a keen sense for detecting strange occurrences in an area, remember? A C is grinding his teeth. He said, crap, you do have a point. We are heading inside the forest. Wow, ellipsis, it's the middle of the day right now and nightshade forest is really dark, ellipsis. Weird. These giant nightshade mushrooms sure do a good job of blocking out most of the light. A, C, said, I think I remember where I saw her go. Okay, we are going to try to find Elise. Talk to you soon. System, 19 minutes, use master of time to skip. Use Click master stop. of time to skip. Okay, sis, I see the woman in the bone mask. She's blocking the path ahead of us. Uh-oh. A, C, Oh, hi. It's her. A, from head to toe, the woman is dressed in a white hooded cloak. A, C, said, it's her. From head to toe, the woman is dressed in a white hooded cloak. Who is this woman? Huh. Two more people dressed in black cloaks appeared beside her. One of them has a hood on and the other, ellipsis. No way, ellipsis. I recognize him. Merrick Stewart, what's he doing with her? Merrick is looking at me. Merrick said, you spoke up for me the day I got kicked out of Time Crust. I'm asking him why he's with the woman in the bone mask. She was one of the assailants believed to have killed many innocent mages. Merrick shrugged his shoulders. He said, I used to have so many friends in that guild. Guess how many of them came to my defense when I was ousted as a human descendant. The hooded assailant that was with Merrick and the woman said, Merrick, let's go. We got what we came here for already. I'm asking him what they came to Nightshade Forest for. The hooded assailant pulled off his hood to reveal a head of platinum blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh. He looks a bit like, ellipsis, Roger? Alan. I hear Roger's voice. A, C, said, great. This idiot is here too. Roger came out from behind a giant nightshade mushroom, a look of bewilderment on his face. Roger said, Alan, Ellipsis, what are you doing here? Why aren't you back in Windsor Howl with Sierra? Alan sneered. He said, you have no right to question me when you just up and left us both, older brother. I see, Ellipsis, so Alan is Roger's brother. No wonder they look so alike. Roger looked past Alan. His eyes widened when he saw the woman in the bone mask standing there. Roger said, Alan, what are you doing with her? She's wanted for being involved in the Tremble Caves killings. Alan said, why don't you spend some of that energy worrying about your own brother and Sierra instead? Roger said, I do worry about you too. That's why I want to know why you're with such a dangerous woman, Alan. My worry for you is the reason I joined Time Crust. If I can become proficient in water magic, ellipsis. Alan said, and you think that Tyrant is going to just sit around and wait for you too, Roger? Oof. Roger's shoulders slumped as he lowered his gaze. Merrick said, who are you talking to through that pocket watch? He's teleporting in front of me. Merrick said, hand me that watch. Hut, what's this? A barrier came up between us. Whom brought us Magnus, Shadow Barrier? It's Elise's voice. She teleported beside me. Merrick said, who are you? Elise said, someone you can't beat. <laughs> okay! Merrick said, cocky aren't you? I'll show you what a human descendant can do. Speaking with folly, speak word, Merrick said, cocky. Oh. The woman in the bone mask just spoke. She said, he's calling. Merrick balled his hands up into fists. He said, next time you won't be so lucky. He's pointing at Elise. I don't think Elise heard him. She's staring at the woman in the bone mask with intensity. Elise said, she's blurry too. Three dark lifts just appeared underneath their feet. Elise is looking back at me with a questioning glance. Who is this woman in the bone mask? I need to get her mask off. Uh, ellipsis. System message, Ash lost 27 Nora. Ow. I feel a shock going through my body, paralyzing me. Oh no, the woman, Alan, and Merrick are phasing away, ellipsis. Alan said, don't even bother coming back to Windsor Howell, Roger. Sierra and I don't need you anymore. Roger said, Alan, three exclamation marks, ellipsis, they're gone. I'm alive, but I'm still having a little trouble moving around. Talk to you when this paralysis wears off. System message, Ash is resting. 57 minutes, use master of time to, use master of Oof. time to skip the Roger said, Alan, three, I'm a, talk, system, much better. My limbs are regaining full motion now. I'm thanking Elise for helping to block Merrick with her barrier earlier. She said, I was just getting bored, watching. <laughs> I'm looking at her and Roger. 
I'm asking them if they came together to Nightshade Forest. Roger said, I'm here because she took Master Frost's second tome from the Grand Library even though I had it reserved. He's looking at Elise. I'm telling Roger that anyone has the right to borrow a tome from the Grand Library. Roger said, yeah, but Elise crossed my name off the waiting list. Why? System message, Ash is waiting. Stay neutral, one of three responses. Take Roger's side, take Elise's side. Stay neutral, one of three I responses. I would stay neutral. Button. Stay neutral, one of three responses. Mm. Message, response, right. I should let Elise and Roger work this one out. Roger is sighing. He said, never mind. The tome doesn't matter anymore. I've decided to head back to Windsor How. I'm asking Roger what's going on. Roger said, it's a long story. Elise said, I just think you don't want to tell us about it. Roger said, Elise, I never want to tell you anything. I'm going back to the guild to gather some supplies before I head back to Windsor How. Two. Ellipsis. I'm telling him I'm going with him. Roger arched his brow. He said, I'd love for you to come along, Ash, but believe me, you don't want to get mixed up in my personal business, Ellipsis. I'm telling Roger that if his brother is involved with the woman in the bone mask, maybe there will be some clues in Windsor Howl as to the Ignis imposter's whereabouts. Not only that, I want to be there for him as his friend. I know how he must feel not knowing if his brother is okay or not. Roger smiled and nodded. He said, okay, let's go together. I'm nodding at Roger. I'm telling him he can count on me. Roger said, thanks, I will. I guess we should. Ro Roger said, ah! thanks, I will. I guess we should find a way out of this forest. Roger said, oh, it reminds me, Ellipsis, he's looking behind some nightshade mushrooms. He said, I paid a mage to come out with me so I can get Master Frost's tome from Elise, Ellipsis, but I don't know where he went. He, Ellipsis, maybe he ran off? Right, we are only allowed to leave time crest in pairs. I'm asking Elise if she came with someone too. She said, no, I'm here alone. Roger said, how? Elise said, I have my ways. <laughs> okay. Roger is shaking his head. I'm looking over at A. See, he's been awfully quiet. Not even one complaint that Elise showed up. His expression seems kind of lost. He's just staring at Elise. I'm waving my hand in front of his face. A. C. blinked a few times and scowled at me. He said, hey girl, what was that move you used? Elise arched her brow and smiled. She said, you mean shadow barrier? I'm asking A. C. if something is wrong. A. C. said, it's nothing. Okay, Ellipsis. Elise turned to me. She said, something bothering you, Ash? I'm asking if she sensed something was wrong with me. She shrugged her shoulders. Elise said, you have this giant furrow in your forehead. Oh, Ellipsis, I'm rubbing my forehead. I'm just still wondering why the woman in the bone mask and the other two came to Nightshade Forest. That's what I want to know. Elise said, I may know something about that. Come with me. Roger said, uh, Ash, I really want to start packing for Windsor How. Can we head back to the guild? I'm telling Roger that I want to follow Elise. We can head back to the guild right after. Roger said, I thought you said that you were going to come with me to win so how? It seems you just want to do your own thing. I'm looking at Roger in the eye. I just want to do this one thing, but after, I promise to go to win so how with Roger. Ash never breaks a promise. Roger lightened up. He said, well, I'm certain you will need my sound advice, Ellipsis. <laughs> Elise said, I highly doubt that. Ow. Roger said, let's get this over with then. Since Ash is going to support me in win so how, I'll offer my support now. I'm asking Elise what she wants to show us. She said, you'll see. System message, Elise is leading the way. 37, use ma- vertical, use master of time, use master of time. And we'll click that. Time. Sist, we came to a clearing within the forest. There were tons of holes in the ground. Elise said, there are a few sites like this within the forest. Seems like they were looking for something. Seems like it, Ellipsis, but what were they looking for? Elise said, don't know, but it's certainly not that. If they were, they wouldn't have left it behind. She's pointing at a shiny object sticking out of the ground. Roger said, we probably shouldn't just fiddle with things we don't understand. Ash, Ellipsis, Ash, are you listening to me? Let's see, I'm pulling it out of the ground. It appears, uh, let's see, Oops. I'm pulling it out of the ground. It appears to be a rectangular, silver case. Ellipsis. What? System message, Ash lost 21 aura. The silver case shocked me when I tried to open it. Roger said, see, I told you so. But, Ellipsis, I feel a connection to it. Roger said, no way. You're saying you can draw a spell from that thing? The lid popped open. I'm going to look inside. Roger said, you have to be kidding me. You are still going to fiddle with that thing? It's probably from the human world which means it's dangerous. A spell won't be worth it if you get seriously hurt or worse. Wow, Ellipsis, the inside of it looks like nothing I've seen before. There's a high chance this could be a human relic. There are strange panels with different colors everywhere. Uh... A.C. said, I don't care what you do with that thing. Just get it over with. 
System message. Ash is waiting. Tell me more about the object. One of two response. Draw the spell. Two. Tell me more about the object. Tell me more about the object. One of two responses. Messages. Responded. The colored wires are hooked up to a panel of some sort. The panel is dark right now, but I can see some imprints of numbers. Zero hours, 20 minutes, and zero seconds. Seems like it's a timer of some sort, but it's not counting down or anything. System message. Ash is waiting. I think it's a bomb in a suitcase. Get away from it. One of one responses. Yeah. I think it's a bomb in a suitcase. Get away from it. Resp Hang on. Ellipsis. I'm letting the team know what you said. Elise said. Curious. Your friend seems familiar with this strange object. I'm telling her you like to read, so chances are you read about this object somewhere. Roger said. I assume it's from the human world. Tomes on human technology are hard to find nowadays. Your friend must have a good memory. I'm telling them you're really smart. That's why I trust in your opinion so much. Roger said. Well we heard Ash's friend. Let's move away now. If it's human, it's dangerous. Wait, ellipsis. If it's dangerous, we can't just leave it here for anyone to trip on. A, C, said, let's just report it to the guild and have them deal with it. But it might be too late then. Someone could have found it. Also, I do feel a connection with it. It's my chance to get a spell. B, ellipsis, B, ellipsis, what was that? Elise is bending over the suitcase. She said, oops, I couldn't help but touch it. Roger threw his hands up in the air. He said, why did you go and do that? Elise said, there was too much talking and not enough action. D okay. The timer is starting to flash, ellipsis, and starting to count down. So do you know what's going to happen when the timer finishes? System message, ashes, it'll probably explode, one of one responses. It'll probably explode, one of one responses. Messages, heading, responded, snap, I'm telling the team we need to get as far away as possible. But if I run away now, I won't be able to draw that spell. Is there a safe distance I can be that the explosion won't hit? Maybe I'll still be able to draw my spell from that distance. Obvious, sis, maybe Whoops. I'll still be able to draw my spell from that distance. Obviously the closer the better, but you're the best judge here. Sis, go at least 25 meters away, go at least 35 meters away, go at least 45, go at least 55 meters, descriptive hand, go, go at least 35 meters away, go at least 25, system, go, go at least 35 meters away. I'm gonna try 35. Go at least 35 meters away, responded, got it, we are heading away now. I'll let you know if system 19 minutes use master of time to use master of respond got it I'll, sis, there was turn back time one of there wasn't enough distance between ash and the explosion no! ash is dead turn back time turn back time one of one responses the response shimmer is green indicating responded we came to a clearing with it there were tons of okay said, see, descriptive pocket watch music descriptive hand. so that didn't uh, work let's see i'm pulling it out of the ground it appears to be a rectangular silver case So I guess we need to try 45? Ellipsis. Wah. System message. Ashlock. Rod. But. Roger. The lid. Roger. Wow. There are str A. System. Tell me more about the object. Okay. One, like tell that. me more about the object. One. Respond. The colored wires are hooked up. Let's try. C. System. I think it's a bomb in a suitcase. I think it's a bomb. Responded. Hang on. Elise said. I'm telling. The script. Pocket. Wah. Roger said. I assume that. Uh, Roger said. Well, we heard Ash's friend. Wait, A, C, said, let's just report it to the, but, also, I do feel a B, ellipsis, B, a Roger threw his hands up, Elise said, there was, the timer is, so do you, system, it'll probably ex, it'll probably ex, here we go, message, responded, it'll probably explode, descriptive, pocket, what, is, but, is there, maybe, sis, go at, go at, go at least 45 meters away, all right, let's Three, try that go one, go at least 45 meters away, messages, Res sounds good, I'll let you, system, 19 minutes, to use master of time to skip, click use that, master Respond. Sounds good. I'll sis oh snap. There was a huge explosion. But the distance was just right for drawing a spell. The word incendia toss came to me. But no time to try it out just yet. The forest is on fire. We have to find some way to put it out. Elise said, for some reason, I feel the need to say that nightshade mushrooms will release a poisonous gas when damaged. But this is a good chance for someone to be a hero. Roger? We can't just leave. I feel responsible for this fire. Roger said, technically, Elise is responsible for this fire. She can stay and try to put it out. Let her handle it. I'm telling Roger that if Elise does stay to put out the fire, I have no intention of leaving her. Elise said, I'm trying to bring myself to care, Ellipsis. She shrugged. Elise said, and I failed. <laughs> A, C, said, I don't know why you're so worked up, Ash. It's just mushrooms here. Roger said, and I'm not risking my life for some mushrooms. Elise said, we are near the exit of the forest. What will it be, Ash? I'm asking them to entertain the possibility that there might be other people trapped in there. Roger said, even so, I have people back in Windsor Howell that need me. I can't just die here. He said, besides, I'm sure Timecrest will dispatch some mages to put out the fires when they notice it. The forest is so near the guild, 
And, if not, the more crucial it is for us to actually get out of here and make a report. Ellipsis. Roger said, look, fire is not good. Poison is not good. Ash, ellipsis, ash, ellipsis. I know you're going to ignore me, huh? Um, ellipsis. He said, Ash's friend. A little help here to get through to Ash? Sister, try to leave now and get the script. Try to put out the fire. One of two responses. Button. Okay, let me save this. Top menu back. But top set, set settings. I'm going to save this real quick here because... In time, press three. Contract, verdict, last save, save game. But save game. Save, save button. Because... Alert. Okay, okay. I have a feeling that you may be able to find something in the fire. Last save game. Time crest the door. Continue. New. Continue. 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 No. Leave now and get. Try to put. Sis. He said. S try to put out the fire. One of two. Try to put out the. Responded. I'm telling Roger that you want me to stay. Roger said. That wasn't the help I was looking for. I'm telling them they don't have to stay. A. C. Said. Like I'm going to leave an. Ellipsis. Let your blood end up on my hands. A. C. Is looking down at his hands. Elise said. I'm staying. Got nothing better to do. Roger said, well, good luck. I'll head back to the guild and inform them of the situation. Hope they will. Elise said, what if we need your sound advice? Roger said, you couldn't even keep your face straight for the short duration of that sentence, Elise. He said, you want my sound advice? Here it is. The best thing we can do is to report this fire to the guild as soon as possible. If there- No, I'm going to see if anyone is trapped that needs- I'll try to stay at- Talk to you soon. Sis, not- Use master of time to skip- Use master of time- Talk to- Sis, the air is thick with heat and smoke. At least the part of the forest we are in hasn't caught on fire yet. Hut, what's this? Ellipsis. A purple smog just enveloped the area. Ellipsis. At, ellipsis. It's stinging my eyes and nose. System message. Ash lost 11 aura. Elise said, seems like the wind has carried some of the poison gas our way. I'm asking her if she's okay. Elise shrugged. She said, I made myself immune to poison so I'm dandy. I don't, ellipsis. I'm looking over at A. See, he doesn't seem to mind either. But this gas is definitely affecting me. System message. Ash lost. Ash has received critical damage. Drink aura potion. Drink aura potion. Required. One aura potion. Yeah. Memory or memory or All right. music pocket watch. Button. Music memory pocket watch. Button. Let me go and buy some. Time, infinity path. Time crest merchant. Button. But or buy but aura potion for 100 gold. Ash owns zero. But aura uh, but can buy. But buy one aura potion. Buy one aura potion. But can buy. But you now have four alert. Success. You have bought one aura potion. Okay. Button. Bought aura potion for 100 gold. Ash owns bought aura. Could. Okay. Could not buy one aura potion. You only have 40 gold and need one. Okay. Ah, darn it. Vertical net. Bought aura potion for one. Sold out. Heading. Drink aura potion has required. Drink aura alert. The okay. Oh, wait. She has the Griffin egg. Menu. Keep searching. One of two responses. Leave now. T keep searching. Keep searching. One of two response. Use descriptive pocket watch. Use master of time to skip busy timer. Use master of time to skip. Uh, ellipsis. My chest feels like it's burning. System message. Ash lost their. Uh, system message. Ash is. A. C. Said. We should head out of here if you're going to die on me. I'm asking Elise how she made herself in. Elise said. I'm asking her how she got her head. Elise said. I have my ways. Hang on. Ellipsis. I see something. Ellipsis. It's some muffies. They are surrounded by flames. System message. Ash is waiting. Help them. One of two respond. Leave them and keep looking. Two of two responses. Help them. One of help them. One of two responses. Res got it. I can use. Here I go. Just as I descriptive hail. The muffies are safe with me now. Just as I planned. Here I go. Just as I planned. The muff. We should get these. The poison fumes are. System message. System message. Ash is waiting. Keep searching. One of leave now. Two of two responses. Leave now. Two of two responses. Responded. If only I was stronger. Ellipsis. Let's get the muffies to safety at least. Should I use a teleport? Sis yes. Has requirement. Yes. There we go. Has okay. Button. Ten seconds. Up. Use master of time. Use master of time to. I see Roger. He's come. Roger said, you're okay. I've reported a fire to the guild administration already. He said, the administration was able to act quickly because of my swift report and has already dispatched some mages to extinguish the flames. Roger said, although, they still want to hear a report from you. I guess we need to head to the A, C. Roger said, A, C, said, I'm definitely going there to collect my gold. Roger said, you still expect to be rewarded for it? A, C, nodded. He said, we still completed the objective of the quest. Roger said, well good luck. Roger said, I need to start packing for Windsor How. I'm asking him when he's planning to leave and where I should meet him. Roger said, at sunrise tomorrow. Since I'm getting a head start on packing, I can come over to your room. That makes it simple for me. Elise said, oh boy, an adventure. Roger said, you know Elise, Ellipsis, you really don't have to come. I'm asking A, C, if he's going to join along too. A, C, sighed. 
He said, I'm going to follow wherever Elise goes. Ooh. Elise said, are you my new stalker? A, C, is grinding his teeth. He said, whatever. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> A, C, said, I'm leaving. See you all later. He is stomping off. Okay, time for me to head to the administration. Should I use system? Yes. Requi no, two of two, no, two of two respond. Responded, the walk will help me straighten out my thoughts. Talk to you, system. 34 minutes, fi use master of time. Use there we go. Responded, the walk will help me talk. Okay, done. I've reported the incident at Nightshade Forest to the administration office. They gave me the reward money and a slap on the wrist. Ellipsis. System message, receive 250 gold. After I explained it was an unknown human artifact, they chalked up the fire as an accident. But it still feels crummy. Ellipsis. System message. I feel responsible to. One of two. Res Great. We're off the hook. T I feel D responsible to. I feel responsible to. Responded. Yeah. Ellipsis. You and me both. Since I didn't know what the suitcase was, I wish I had handled it with more care. What if you hadn't figured out what it was? Anyways. Ellipsis. I really want to walk around Time Crest a bit before I head back to my room and prep for the trip tomorrow. I don't know when I'll be back in this place. Oh. By the way. I noticed the merchant has something new in his store. Something called the TOD Generator Magnus. The merchant seems to be asking for some three question marks crystals. I'll call them strange crystals in exchange for the generator. I wonder, maybe we can stop by and ask. That reminds me, Ellipsis. I forgot to mention that we dropped off the muffies we saved outside of Time Crest and they are happily running in the fields again. One of the larger muffies actually coughed up something, Ellipsis, a piece of irelium. System message gained one irelium. Oh, nice. It was either trying to say thank you or just clearing its throat. But either way, it's still good for us. What a day, Ellipsis. I'm currently at the administration chambers. Where do you want to system map, map location? Apple courtyard. Walk, walk to Apple. Use teleport orb to teleport to Apple courtyard. Button. Map location. Grand library. Two of eight locations. The grand walk to grand library. Tw use tele map location. Walk to Drake Heaven. Thirty. Use map. Walk to time mm. press merchant. Use teleport orb to map location. Lock M. Walk to block M. Walk to time press merchant. Forty minutes. Walk to t alert. Can't walk. We'll click that. Use master of time to skip busy. Use master of time to and skip that. busy timer for free. I'm going to head to script it. pocket watch for system that four minutes fifty. Use master of time. Sis, give me a moment and I'm going to head in and ask the time press merchant what the TOD generator thing is. Give me a moment and I'll report back. Four minutes. Use master of time. Use the only visits he gets are the ones he's not. Ever since he handed out AMP cards, he's been getting less and less. I finished speaking with the time press merchant. System that ever since he handed out AMP cards, he's been getting less and less visits from his customers. The only visits he gets are the ones he's not looking forward to his tyrannical boss, and the barbaric younger brother of head guild master Crane. Oof. But even they come rarely. In order to pass the time, he's been reading a lot which inspired him to work on inventing some ideas he's got in his head. I asked the time press merchant about the TOD generator Magnus and that's when things got weird. The merchant said he already sold one to me. And even stranger, the sale is in his records, but he has no memory of making it. The merchant told me it's so unlike him not to remember a sale, especially for his precious TOD generator. Obviously, I wanted to know where my generator was, if I really had one. The merchant guessed my pouch and he was right. It turns out, I do already have the TOD generator. Just want to say, woohoo. Dragonberry elixir ingredients are hard to come by and expensive. Teleport orbs are expensive too and now I have something that can generate both continuously. Continuously? After you started managing my stuffs, I rarely look at all the things I have in my pouch. So I have a feeling you are responsible for this pleasant surprise. Also, the time press merchant made me promise that I'll take good care of the TOD generator. He had tears in his eyes when I put it back into my pouch. So, Ellipsis, I hope you can help me collect from it too. Ellipsis, the generator looks really complex and I'm afraid I'll break it. Ellipsis. System message, Ash's wait. Yeah, I bought it. One of two response. Don't worry, I'll manage the generator. I've collected from it before. It's easy. Two of two response. Yeah, I bought it. One of two responses. But, don't worry, I'll manage the generator. I've collected from it before. It's easy. Don't worry. I'll manage the generator. I've collected from it before. It's easy. Respond. Phew. That's good to know. And I'm not surprised to know you're a master at using it already. <laughs> Guess I'm done here. I'm currently. Where do you want to assist? Map. Walk to Apple Courtyard. Use teleport. Map location. Use teleport. Walk to Apple Courtyard. 25 minutes. I guess we'll do the Apple Alert. Courtyard. Cancel. Walk. Bu use 20. Use master of. Boop. Use master of time to system mess messages. Sis, I'm here in the courtyard. I can still see myself back then when I was trying my hardest to get the Nexu Toss spell working. Oh, I see Roger. Hi. He's raising his hand aggressively towards a tree. A stream of water is shooting out, causing a few apples to fall off the branches. I'm calling out to him. He said, oh hey, Ash. 
I'm asking him if he's practicing. Roger said, uh, no, I'm picking some apples to bring back to Windsor Howl. He said, Windsor Howl's climate is dry and hot so fruits are hard to come by. They're a good gift to bring back from travels. Hmm, interesting. Roger bent down and is collecting the apples and putting them in his inventory pouch. System message, Ash is waiting. Ask Roger if he misses home. One of two, ask Roger about Alan. Two of two responses. Ask Roger if he misses home. Ask Roger if responded. I'm asking Roger if he misses Windsor Howl. Roger sighed. He said, it's complicated. There are things I miss and there are those I don't want to be around again. Roger said, I'm going to continue packing. See you tomorrow, Ash. I'm waving goodbye to him. Since I'm here, I should try out that new spell I drew from the bomb. Why did the music just pause? Here it goes. System message, Ash is casting incendia. Flames are surrounding my hand. This is just like the spell Ignis used to light up his way in the cave that day he saved me. Cool, ellipsis, I'm punching with my hand in a fist. I've got fire fists now. Well, ellipsis, fire fist. The spell lit up one of my hands. I don't know how to light up both yet. Anyways, we're done here. I'm currently at where sis map location, Grand Library, one of six locations. <gasps> Walk to Grand Library, five minutes. Uh, yeah, that's what would you cancel? Walk. That's what the Grand Library because four minutes fifty. Use Master of Time to because I want to look up that home. System descriptive pocket what could give us some clues on why you're time to do some digging on who the author of that children's poem is. You just read my mind. Could give us some clues on why you're getting those weird messages. Do not distract. 518 feet. Okay. I was, I was thinking fine. time crest has three R and I drew one for you on the time. We used them the last time. We and walking over to, I'm heading inside the library. Could give us some clues. I'm heading inside the go. library. Ellipsis. And walking over to the archive oracles. We used them the last time we were here to research the hooded man. And I drew one for you on the time crest map. I was thinking it can tell us who the author of the children's poem is. Time crest has three archive oracles set up. Though it looks like they're all in use right now. There's someone I don't recognize using an oracle, and the other two are being used by Ellipsis, Allison and Ellipsis, Connor, Ellipsis. I'm going to stay behind a shelf near the oracles until Connor goes away. I don't feel like talking to him. Allison is really loud. I can hear what she's asking for from all the way over here. Allison said, how do I win over the person I love? <laughs> Connor said, would you keep it down over there? Allison is giving him the eye. She said, I think I know what your problem is. Connor said, my problem is your shrill voice. Ow. She said, no, your problem is you have no love in your heart. Connor said, you're wasting my time. Ellipsis. Connor frowned and turned to leave. The archive oracle's flipping pages have stopped. It means it's, she clapped her hands together. Allison said, time to get reading. She's heading away. The other mage I didn't recognize seems to have finished searching and is walking away too. The archive oracles are all clear for us to use. I wonder what Connor was searching for. I'm heading over to his station. The answer to his question should still be on the page until someone else uses it. Let's see, ellipsis. The page of the archive oracle that Connor just used says, ellipsis. There are no known production records listing the pocket watch you have described. We are unable to tell you the maker at this time. Ellipsis. Was he asking about, ellipsis, my pocket watch? Connor seen me talk to it, but I told him during the trials that I was using it to talk to my friend. Oof. I don't know too much about pocket watches in general. I didn't realize mine has a unique design. Well, ellipsis, I guess Connor is going to think what he wants to think. I'll have to be more careful around him. I'm asking the oracle about the author of the children's poem. Okay, ellipsis, the pages are flipping. It's done searching. Text, it's, it's done searching. Oops. Text is appearing on the page. It says, ellipsis, the good man. I don't get it. I don't either. 44% back, the good man. That's not a name of any sort. I'm asking the oracle if the good man has a name or something. The pages are flipping, ellipsis. The oracle says nothing else is known about the origin of the poem. Ellipsis. Well, guess we won't get any leads from here. I'm currently at the Grand Library. So I guess we only know who the author- oh, well. Where do you want to- System, map location, Drake Heaven, one of five locate- Walk to Drake Heaven, 30 minutes, button. Guess walk we'll do Drake, Drake Heaven. Heaven. Walk, can't walk. Walk. Use 20, use master, mm, use master that. of time to skip system message, arrived at Drake Heaven. Oh, ellipsis, Drake Heaven closed. I well then! The business was that bad, ellipsis. But it does make sense that people need less drapes now that nighttime is back. I've taken down all my drapes so I can see outside at night. Like me, others must miss seeing the stars too. Guess there is no reason to head here any- I'm currently at Drake, where do you- System okay, message, then. ashes awaiting your- Map location, lock M, one of four locations. Living quarters for Roger Mendenhall and Elise Maybell. Walk to- Use tele- Map location, gardens, two of four locations. Walk to gardens, use teleport orb. Walk to gardens, 40 minutes. Button. Like walk that. Alert. Walk. Walk. 
Walk time. Use 30 minutes. Use master of, use that. master of time to skip. Descriptive hand pocket watch. Uh. I remember the first time I met Riley. The garden sure aren't the same. System. There we go. The garden sure aren't the same without Riley here. I remember the first time I met Riley. It was raining that day. But she didn't mind the rain. She was sitting on a bench in the garden and looking up at the sky while the rain poured down. What a strange sight it was to see the princess drenched. I wanted to say hello, but I had never talked to her before that. And she was the Valdorian princess and I was just a beginner mage. We were in different leagues. But then she turned to me and smiled. Even though it was raining, I felt immediately warm inside. And I could feel my face turning hot. I want I and I could feel my face turning hot. I wondered if she knew I had been ogling her from afar. I never would forget what she said that day. Riley said, Ash, if you have something to say, just say it. Otherwise time might run out. So I shouted, Hello, Princess Riley. I was so embarrassed that she had caught me watching her that I just ran away after saying that. Definitely not my finest moment. As you can see, I'm much smoother with words than before. It didn't even dawn on me to wonder back then how she knew my name. Oh yeah! I just felt really special that Princess Riley knew the name of a nobody like me. After that, I would say hello to Riley every time I went by the gardens. She always seemed so happy to see me so it got easier for me to say hi to her. But I never knew that one day, I would get to be friends with the princess and say more to her than just hello. Ellipsis. I'm glad I shared that memory with you. Even though none of my teammates are here, I'm glad we came here together. I'm currently at the gardens. Where do you- Sis, map location, walk to block M, use t map, walk to block C, win hours, button. Use teleport orb to teleport to block map location, ashes room, walk to ashes room, tw map location, ashes room, use to walk to block C, walk to block, can't walk, button. Click that. Top menu back, button. Use master of time to skip. Use master of time to skip. System message. Arrived at blocks. Messages. S Let's see if A, C, is here. Hang on. Ellipsis. I see Allison. She's walking in my direction. I want. Give me. A she's ah. walking in my direction. I wonder why she's in A, C's block. Give me a few minutes to talk to her. System. Two minutes fifty sec. Use master of time to skip. Use master of. I ask if they've been. Alice. I ask if they've been on dates before. Allison said. She was holding a plate. Allison told me she's. Okay. I'm done. System. Okay. Here we okay, go. I'm done speaking with her. Allison told me she's looking for A, C, because she wants to ask him to be her boyfriend. I knew it! She was holding a plate of veggies which she told me she made for him, ellipsis. I asked if they've been on dates before. Allison said, ever since coming so close to death in the copper trials, I don't want to waste any more time. She said, I've never had a boyfriend before. I don't want to die without experiencing love once. Would it that be such a shame, Ash? I told her I don't really know since I've never dated someone before. She said, well I'm sure someone out there will think you're cute. It's a big world after all. I told her thanks, ellipsis. Anyways, Allison told me she's been coming to block C every day, but she's never seen A, C, in his room, even at night. I wonder where he goes, ellipsis. That's what I want to know. Allison also asked me about the man she saw in the copper trials. She didn't want to think the master Ignis she admired would use his power to kill so many people. I told her that it's for sure an imposter and I'm working to prove Ignis' innocence. Her face lightened up after hearing that. Oh, ellipsis. I see Allison's walking away from Ixie's room. Looks like she's giving up for now. Finally, she's gone. It's a C's voice. He's just I'm it's a C's voice. He's jumping down from the roof of a nearby building. Wait. He was on the on the roof? I'm asking him how long he's been watching. A C said long enough. I thought she would never leave. I'm telling A, C, he should just tell her he's not interested. A, C, said, isn't my absolute silence and avoidance a telltale sign I'm not interested? I'm telling him that I don't think Allison is a mind reader. A, C, said, HMPH. He said, I'm rarely here, but when I am, I see her blocking my door. Do you know how frustrating that is for me? A, C, said, anyways, I'm off. See you later. System message, Ash is waiting. Follow A, C, has requirement, one of two responses. Button. Required. 200 relationship with A, C. So, usually you can't do that. Follow A, but, C, follow A, C, has once you play enough, one of you can responses. actually follow Messages. him. Heading. Resp I'm asking if A, C, is heading out of time first. He said, yeah, I'm just here to grab the gold from my room and then I'm heading out. Why? I'm telling A, C, that I want to follow him and see where he spends his time when he's not at time first. A, C, is glaring at me really hard. His face is cringing and his eyes are super focused and narrowed. He said, will you be quiet? I'm trying to think. A, C, is sighing. He said, I'm trying to figure out why I'm about to show you where I go most of the time. Oh really? I would like to know. He said, come on. It's a bit of a walk. We're going to use the rooftops. 
How am I going to get up there? Hey, A, C, just picked me up and swung me over his shoulders. Whee! Wow, he's jumping. I'm asking him how he's going to handle the barrier. A, C, said, just be quiet and enjoy the ride. I'll talk to you soon. System message, Ash and A, C, 19 minute, use master of time to- Okay, that sounds fun. A, I'll talk, sis, I never knew A, B, I never knew A, C, could jump so high. He jumped over the barrier. We're looking at a large, gated mansion now. A, C, said, this is Oliver's house. I'm telling A, C, his place looks huge. There must be a lot of rooms in there. A, C, is grinding his teeth. He said, it's not my place, it's his place. Okay, ellipsis, I'm asking A, C, why he brought me here. He said, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm here. I hate this place, but vertical ah. A, C, is grinding his teeth. Okay, ellipsis, I'm asking A, C, why he brought me here. He said, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm here. I hate this place, but ellipsis, uh, ellipsis, come with me. He tossed me over his shoulders again and left over the gate. A, C, is carrying me towards the side of the mansion. He's leaping onto the balcony on the second floor. I'm being set down. I'm asking A, C, why we can't just go through the front door. He said, I'm not exactly welcome here. Why? I'm asking him, isn't this his home? A, C, said, no, I told you this is his home. A, C, is opening the balcony door. I see a regular room inside. There's a bed with clean white linens and a few pieces of furniture. I'm asking A, C, what's so special about this room? He said, I don't know. I just think something is missing from it. I don't know what though. A, C, is sighing. He said, maybe I'm just crazy. I'm telling A, C, I don't think he's crazy at all and I appreciate that he brought me here. I know it must be hard for him to share this with someone else. He said, the thing is, I feel like I can trust you for some reason. You're the type of person that will help me out if you can. A, C, is rubbing his forehead with his hand. He said, why can't I remember why I'm so attached to this room? Ellipsis. I wonder what I can do to help. System message. Tell A, C, that you're here for him. One of three response. Put a hand on A, C's shoulders. Two of three. Look around the room. Three. Tell A, C, that you're here for him. One of three responses. Button. Put a hand on A, C's shoulders. Two of three. That's good. Put a hand on A, mm -hmm. C's shoulders. Responded. I'm putting my hand on A, C's shoulders. He lowered his hand from his forehead. A, C, said, thanks, Ash. I get you're trying to help, but let's leave. Oliver's mates will- There's not much to look at, but I'll tell you everything I see. A, Oops. C, said, thanks, Ash. I get you're trying to help, but let's leave. Oliver's mates will be in to clean the room soon. There's not- A, C, said, I've been in this room so many times and haven't remembered anything. It's no use. I'm telling him it can't hurt to have a fresh eye look at things. Alright, ellipsis, there's the bed I mentioned earlier with clean linens. And I see an ivory dresser with a large mirror. There's a two-person sofa along one of the walls with a tea table in front of it. Hmm. I see flowers on that table. I think I recognize the type, but the name escapes my mind. The walls are painted a crisp blue. Anything sound noteworthy so far? System message. The dresser. One of four responses. I don't Button. think the dresser would be anything interesting. The sofa. Two of four Sofa, responses. same thing. The flowers. Three of four responses. The walls. The walls, I don't think responses. so. The flowers. The flowers, I'm kind of interested. Responses. Button. So, the flowers, let's see. Three of four resp respond. I'm asking A, C, if the flowers trigger any memories or emotions for him. He's scratching his head. A, C, said, I looked at them before, but never thought too much about it. I have no- He's ah. scratching his head. A, C, said, I looked at them before, but never thought too much about it. I have no idea what type of flowers they are. System message, Ash is waiting. What type of flowers are they? One of two resp- Are they fresh flowers? Two of two responses. Button. Are they fresh flowers? Two of two responses. Messages. Respond. Yep. Yeah. They look pretty fresh. I bet the mates bring in a fresh batch each day. There are sounds from outside the room. A, C, is tossing me over his shoulders and we are scaling the balcony. Okay, ellipsis. We are away from the house now. A, C, said, thanks for trying to help, Ash, but I've been back to that room so many times without remembering anything new that I don't think going back there is going to help anymore. I'm telling A, C, that I'm sorry that there wasn't more I could do to help. A, C, said, let's head back to Time Crest for now. Okay, ellipsis, I'll let you know when we're back in Time Crest. System, 19 minutes, use Master of Time. Oh, interesting. Master of Time, I'm telling A, A, okay, system, I've said goodbye to A, C, for the day and I'm back in Block C. Too bad we weren't able to help A, C, remember anything new. But I'm happy he showed me that room. It's scary to know that a piece of yourself is missing and you don't know how you lost it. Yeah, good point. Anyways, where do you want to head next? I'm, cr where do you want to head next? System message, Ash is awaiting your map location, lock M, one of two locations, walk to block, use tele, map location, Ash's room, 
Map location, block M. System, map, walk to block M. 45 minutes. Button. Click walk that. Alert, walk, can, walk. Button. Click walk. Use master of time to skip. Use master, Use master of, time of time to skip. Use timer for free. Mess. Oh good. I see Elise walking into her room. System message. Oh good. I see Elise walking into her room. I want to talk to her before we leave tomorrow. I'm knocking on her door. She's not answering, but I just saw her go inside. Ellipsis. I'm knocking again and calling out to her from the outside. Oh, the door is creaking open. Elise said, fine. What do you want? <laughs> I told her I just came by to talk to her. She said, about what? Wow, ellipsis, I see the inside of Elisa's room. It's really, ellipsis, dark. She has a lot of dead flowers and black furniture and decorations. Not my cup of tea on that kind of decoration. Elise said, I'm still waiting. Oh right, I haven't told her what I wanted to talk to her about. I'm asking Elise why she's coming along to Windsor How. She said, why do you want to know? I'm telling her it's because I'm her friend and I want to understand her better. Elise said, I told you, I have nothing better to do. Ellipsis, I'm telling her I don't buy it. I think she's not the type to do something without a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but I hope one day she'll feel comfortable enough to tell me. But until then, I'm telling Elise that I'm happy to travel with her. Elise is looking at me. She said, are you done? I'm telling her I'll see her tomorrow. She said, yeah, see you. I'm currently at block M. Well. Where do, sist, map location, Ash's room, one of one, walk to Ash's room, 40 minutes. Walk to Ash's Okay then. Walk, cancel, walk. Use master of time to skip, use master of time to skip, system message, arrived at Ash's, messages, system message, arrived at Ash's room. I'm home. I actually don't have that many things to pack. Guess I'll make myself a hot eat meal before I go to bed. You know, I'm amazed how moments in life can transform you. If I hadn't met Ignis that day, would I have become a chef instead? Then I probably wouldn't have met Riley, A, C, Elise or Roger, Ellipsis. How different my life would have been. And if I hadn't met you, Ellipsis. It's getting dark out. Is it night time in your world too? Um... System meth- Yes, it is. One of two respond. No, it isn't. Two of two responses. No, I don't think no, so. It is. Responded. You know I've always wondered how our worlds became connected in the first place. Res message. Responded. No. You know what if, Ellipsis. I'll ellipsis, never mind. Food is done. Cooking sure is faster with all my tools. I made laughing pumpkin soup from the leftovers of the treats I was trying to make you. I'm tasting it right now. Next time, I should stew the pumpkins for longer and give the soup a little more texture. Uh. Messages. Heading. And your place is with me. Whoa! Hi! 20. The current chapter. Top menu back. Top menu. The current chapter 8. The current year is 1, 28 out of 100 maximum aura. Uh oh. 2,200 messages. Heading. System message. Receive the following message. When the door opens, there will be no need for you to hide. Your place is with me on the other side. The poor, good man tried to get rid of me. But only when the door opens will he truly... The poor, Whoops. good man tried to get rid of me. You see. But only when the door opens will he truly be free. System message. Five hours. Use master of time to skip... Use I'll master of that. time to skip busy timer for free. It was Ignis. Ellipse. Message. 290 gold. 2,200. 28 out of 100 maximum aura. The current year. Chapter 8. The current 28 out of 100 maximum aura. 2,212 time crystal. 209 messages. It was Ignis. Ellipsis. It happened like it always did. I backed away from the door and bumped into someone. When I whirled around, I would see this person's face covered with splatters of blood. But this time I remember who I saw. It was Ignis' face. System message. Ash is waiting. A dream is just a dream. One of two res- I got another message. Two of two response. I got another message. Messages. Respond. Another one? I wonder if that imposter is the one who's been sending you these messages. I don't think so. Honestly, I can't think of a better explanation at this point. I should clean up a bit before Roger and the others show up at my door. By the way, Ellipsis, I've been thinking about why I stormed off during our conversation with Kronos. I've actually been meaning to say sorry to you for shutting down right afterwards. I'm sorry. System, are you ready to talk about? I forgive you. Two of two responses. I forgive you. Two of two responses. I think it's the right way of saying it. Yeah. Resp Thank you, Ellipsis. I'm really embarrassed by the way I acted. I was confused and ashamed at the time, but I'm ready to talk about it now. The reason I stormed out was because I caught myself trying to forgive Kronos. Oh. I was trying to find reasons to justify his callous, cold attitude toward the mages who died during the Copper Trials, Ellipsis. Reasons for why he killed Riley's family, Ellipsis. Reasons for his hypocrisy against human descendants, Ellipsis. Reasons why he's lying to me and hiding things from me, Ellipsis. All because I wanted to accept him as my brother. I know I lived my life without him, but now I have the chance to have a brother, Ellipsis. I found myself desiring it. 
You must think I'm pretty dumb, huh? System message, don't blame yourself for how you feel. One of three responses, you're pretty naive, ash, two of, just because you might find redemption for Ignis doesn't mean Kronos can be redeemed too, three, don't blame yourself for how you feel. One of three responses, button. Don't blame yourself for how you feel. One of three responses. Kinda hard to choose sometimes. Still, I acted like a brat to you. And being a brat is something I thought I outgrew. Someone is knocking on my door. No way, Ellipsis. Riley, Ellipsis. I'm hugging her. She's really here. She's hugging me back. Riley said, it's so good to see you again, Ash. I'm asking her if she's managed to convince Ezra. Riley shook her head. She said, listen, Ash, I need your help. I'm telling her, anything. What does she need me to do? She said, Ezra wants to ask you a question. Uh, oh. Me? Why does he want to ask me? Riley said, Ezra doesn't believe there's anything about Kronos that's redeemable. He knows you're related to Kronos so he wants to hear from you. I'm asking Riley if she knows what he's going to ask. Riley said, he wouldn't tell me. Ezra, Riley said, he wouldn't tell me. Ezra just said to bring you or don't come back. She said, Ash, will you come with me? This could be the only chance we have to prevent a fight between Ezra and Kronos. Ellipsis. She said, it's dangerous and, Ellipsis, you may have to make, Ellipsis, sacrifices. But this may be our only chance to protect all of Valencia. Roger and A, C, are walking over. I also caught a glimpse of Elise in the distance, but she disappeared when she saw us, Ellipsis. They must be ready to head out. Riley looked over her shoulders and is lower in her gaze. She said, I see you made some new friends. Roger said, oh, Princess Riley, he had a shocked expression on his face. Roger cleared his throat and bowed. He said, I am delighted to be honored with your presence, your royal highness. I am Roger Mendenhall. Riley said, Prince Roger, the pleasure is mine. Wait, what? Did she say Prince? She's looking puzzled. Roger's pulling her aside, turning his back to us. Riley said, if I may ask why the Prince of Windsor Hall is using the name Mendenhall? Wait. Riley said, if I may ask, she's looking puzzled. Roger's pulling her aside, turning. Riley said, if I may ask why the Prince of Windsor Hall is using the name Mendenhall? Prince, she said it again. Riley began to blush. She said, I do ask forgiveness if my question is too bold. I'm looking at A, C, did he know this? A, C's shrugging as if to say, who cares? <laughs> Roger's definitely trying to not look at me or A, C, as he talks. I'm burning, he said, the princess has excellent knowledge of the Windsor Howell royal family. If I may to ask a bold question, how does the Valdorian princess know so much of Windsor Howell, given the, ellipsis, relations between our kingdoms? Riley said, I am not my father, and after Valdor was destroyed, I made it a point to learn what I could of the kingdoms that Valdor could have treated, ellipsis, better. I thought, Roger, ah, Riley keep said, going too fast. I am not my father, and after Valdor was destroyed, I made it a point to learn what I could of the kingdoms that Valdor could have treated, ellipsis, better. I thought that maybe I could one day undo past transgressions, and pay my respects to King Regis. Roger noticeably winced before he said, please let me know if you do ever consider visiting, Princess Riley, and I will personally give you a tour of our kingdom. In fact, we were all about to leave for Windsor Howell, and you are welcome to join us. He turned to me. Roger said, Ash, I didn't know you knew the princess. I'm telling him that I didn't know I knew a prince. Riley and I, Ellipsis, have known each other for a while now, Ellipsis. Roger looked at Riley and said, I must apologize for my friend's manners. Ash shouldn't be referring to you so informally by just your name, Princess Riley. Riley said, it's okay. Ash doesn't need to call me princess. We're good friends and besides, Ellipsis, I'm not a princess anymore. Roger's eyes widened, but he didn't say anything. Riley's looking at A, C, now, she said, and you look very familiar. Are you related to head guildmaster Crane by any chance? A, C, is grinding his teeth. Roger said, yep, this ill-mannered, uncouth individual is the brother of our refined head guildmaster Crane. I still can't believe it myself. A, C, growled at Roger. I'm asking Roger what happened to Elise. Roger said, huh, he's turning to look around. Roger said, she was just with us. A, C, said, that strange girl is hiding from us for some reason. Riley said, oh, I see. There's someone else, Ash, a girl? I scratched my head and nodded. I told Riley they were my teammates during the trial. Riley said, Prince Roger, I haven't answered your question yet. I will accept your invitation another time, but I must decline because Ash and I have urgent business we need to tend to. Roger looks crestfallen. He said, Ash has already agreed to travel with us and help with my journey to Windsor Howe. I apologize, Princess, but this was already planned in advance. Riley said, Roger looks crestfallen. Riley is looking down at the ground. Ash, I'm sorry about the commitments you made, but we must go, now. He won't give us another chance. I'm telling them to give me a moment. I'm walking out of earshot. Okay, I'm not sure what to do, and this seems to be an important decision I'm about to make. <sighs> 
I have a million thoughts running through my head. Do you have time to hear me work through what I'm thinking? System message, Ash is wait. I'm here for you, Ash. One of one responses, button. I'm here for you, Ash. Messages, get response. I have so many questions for Roger. A prince? Why did he hide it? What's going on? And I need to find out more about to Roger's brother, Alan. He's working for. Does that mean I pr And I need to find out more about to Roger's brother, Alan. He's working for. Does that mean Alan is also a prince? I promised Roger that I'd go to Windsor Hall with him, and I don't break promises. Kronos warned me that Ignis is dangerous. Both Kronos and Elise have told me that the person I'm tracking is indeed Ignis. But you have to believe me when I say that this person has to be an imposter. I'm sorry, Ash. I don't believe you. Ignis gave me meaning, an inspiration, my life's goal, to become a mage and help others. It's important to me that we discover the truth about this man. Imposter or not, I agree that it will be dangerous. This man is responsible for the murder of many innocent copper mages in the Tremble Caves, right under the noses of the Time Crest Guild Masters. Whoever he truly is, he needs to be brought to justice. When I was a kid, and surely going to die, Agnes appeared and helped me, despite my insolence. I wasn't able to return the favor, and help Agnes in his darkest hour, but with you and my new friends, maybe we can save his reputation. But, Ellipsis. I can't let Riley down. When you and I first met, we bonded over saving the world. I may not be the most powerful mage in Alincia, but I may be the most driven to do great things. Maybe this is my chance to do some good for the whole world. I didn't stop the meteors, but I think I've stumbled across something much bigger. For some reason, Kronos and Ezra fought long ago. As part of that fight, Ezra summoned the meteors. Kronos froze the meteors by stopping time in the sky and even froze Ezra. When two of the most powerful mages in history fight, there surely is a reason for it. I may not know what all of these things happened, but I do know that there are grave consequences for it. Kronos and Ezra almost destroyed the world when they clashed. Oof. Kronos and Pitori warned me of how dangerous Ezra is, but I don't know how much I trust him. Kronos asked me to join him, but wouldn't tell me exactly what he was doing or what he wanted me to do. Before Riley left to talk to Ezra, I told her she could depend on me. But how to if before Oops. Riley left to talk to Ezra, I told her she could depend on me. But how dependable would I be if I abandoned her now? If the first mage has a question for me, maybe he's willing to listen to what I have to say. It was almost nice when the danger was the unfreezing of the meteors. It was concrete. It was almost nice when the danger Oops. was the unfreezing of the meteors. It was concrete, physical, ellipsis, real. Right now, the danger is hidden, abstract, and unclear. But I can't let that stop me. It seems that tensions are rising with the most powerful mages in Alincia. And I can't just let Riley be the only one in this world trying to stop impending doom. Maybe together with Riley, you and I can end this danger to Alincia. This is really tough. What should I do? System, go with Riley to speak to first mage Ezra. One of two responses, go with Roger to win Sor Howl and investigate the Ignis imposter. <laughs> go with Riley to I want to go with Riley, but... I don't know. Go with Riley to speak I guess to we'll do that one. Yeah, that's definitely the right choice. I'm heading back to them. I'll have to ask about the prince thing later. This sucks, ellipsis, but I'm telling Roger something came up. I won't be able to go to win. A, C, said, what the heck, Ash? I thought finding leads on the Cygnus imposter was all you could talk about. And now you're not going to join us? Roger quietly said, you promised. I'm telling Roger that I'll catch up. Ash doesn't break. This one, ellipsis, is just delayed slightly. Roger is not saying anything. Riley said, it's my fault. I'm asking Ash for help. It's a matter of life and death. A, C, slapped Roger on the back. He said, are you just going to stand there, or are you going to convince Ash to come with us? Roger is silent. A, C, shrugged. Ellipsis. I'm telling him that if this wasn't a matter of life or death, like Riley said, I would be going with him to Windsor Howell right now. Roger is turning away. Riley frowned. She said, Ash, are you sure about this? It seems like, Ellipsis. I'm telling Riley that I'm sure. Roger bowed to Riley, before putting his hands in his cloak pockets and walking away. I'm telling them good luck. I'll come. A, C, is trailing behind Roger. Riley said, I'm sorry, Ellipsis, the prince seemed upset. I'm telling her it's okay. If me talking to Ezra means we can save countless lives, then it's worth it. Now where is he exactly? Riley said, Ezra is in the old Baldorian ruins. Huh. Why is he there? That's what I want to know. Riley said, this knowledge is only passed down the royal family, but Ezra is the first king of Boulder. What? First mage Ezra was the first king of Boulder? Riley said, Boulder was named after its founder and first king, Ezra Boulder. Ezra and his citizens were the first magic users in all of Alincia. He built the kingdom and brought Boulder to be the most powerful nation in Alincia, but he was eventually erased from all the history tomes. I don't know why. I remember Kronos mentioned that there were four Valdorians alive. So besides Riley and Ezra, who are the others? She said, I had no idea there were still others out there. I would think Krona... Wait, no, Kronos isn't. I wonder who they are, Ellipsis. But I guess that's not important for now. 
We should get going to the ruins of Baldur. There is one thing though, Ellipsis. I'm telling Riley about the new guild rule requiring us to travel in pairs. If we don't use the Griffin transport, the only way we can leave is through a gate. Riley said, oh, Ellipsis, if you want to teleport, we can still teleport. I have a way of bypassing the barrier. I'm asking Riley if she's going to teleport me. Riley said, I'm sorry, I could teleport you like Kronos can. You will still need your own orb, but I believe I have a way we can bypass the barrier to teleport directly to Baldur. A way to bypass the barrier? Sounds interesting. What do you think? Should I use teleport system message? Use a teleport orb. Use a teleport orb. Required. Use Griffin transport. Uh, I don't have it. <laughs> pocket music player. Pocket watch. Okay. Descriptive hail. Pocket watch. Button. Let's click here. Mort Morty. Time crest merchant. Button. Time crest merchant. Buy 100 time crystals for one Irelium. Ash owns 2,212 mysterious crystals. Buy Aura Potion for 100. Buy Dragon Berry Elixir for sold out. Buy the Spell Ring for 600. Buy Ignis Amulet. Where is it? Buy TOD Gener Descriptive Hail. Buy TOD Generator Magnus for 14,500 time crystals. Sold out. Ash owns one. Oh yeah. Buy 100 Already time crystals. For buy Aura Potion. Buy Teleport Orbs for 150 gold. A buy Tele Alert. Buy. Can't buy. Buy. You now have one alert. So, okay. There we go. Go back. System. Should I use use a teleport? Or and use there a teleport we go. Vo void. As a okay. Okay. Button. Riley said, "Don't worry, Ash. I will never drop you. I'm taking." Huh. Riley, use a tel message. Use it. Riley offered me her hand. Huh. Riley just sprouted giant wings of translucent light. Whoa. I'm taking her hand. I told her I hope I'm not too heavy. Riley said, "Don't worry, Ash. I will never drop you." Cool. We're flying. Wow. My feet are dangling in the air. This is so awesome. We are really high up now. I'm telling Riley that we can see the entire garden area from where we are. Riley laughed. She said, we're outside of the barrier. Try using your teleport orb. I'm reaching inside my pouch. Here goes. System message. Here's one teleport orb. System message. Ash and Riley are teleporting. The teleport orb worked. I'm thanking Riley for helping to bypass the barrier. Riley said, don't mention it, Ash. I guess the barrier is just to ensure weaker mages have a partner before going out, Ellipsis. Well, Ellipsis, now's not the time to dwell on that, Ellipsis. We're here in Baldur and my hands are getting sweaty. What if I mess up and Ezra decides to go to war against Kronos after all? Seems like a lot is at stake here and apparently I'm the pivoting factor. Riley took my right hand in hers and gave it a gentle squeeze. She smiled warmly and said, you'll do fine, Ash, I believe in you. I nodded. Riley said, I thought long and hard about bringing you here. I'm asking her why. If it meant the possibility of stopping a catastrophic war, I don't see the downside. She said, I was worried it might be a trap and Ezra would try to hurt you. But being with him these past few days has convinced me that if he really wanted to hurt you, he could do it at any time. While not the most comforting thought, it is true. Ezra is the first mage after all. Killing me shouldn't be hard for someone like him. Riley paused. She said, you have to know this, Ash. She's looking at me to make sure I understand this. She said, Ezra is not evil, no matter what happens. I'm telling her that I never thought he was. I like to believe people are good. Although, Ellipsis, Kronos and Guildmaster Pitor told me he summoned the meteors. Is that true? Riley bit her lower lip. She said, there are things about Ezra that I don't fully understand. Maybe I never will. She said, but I think it's a mistake to judge a person if we don't know their full story. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm telling her I agree with her, Ellipsis. She's smiling at me. I'm asking Riley what it was like being with Ezra. She said, not as exciting as you might think it would be. He spends long hours in trances. System message, Ash is waiting. Is Ezra related to Riley? One of two res- How old is Ezra exactly? Two of two res- Is Ezra related to Riley? One of- Is Ezra I'm related curious. to Riley? One of two responses. Is he really messages. related to uh, Riley? Uh, is he related to Riley? Responded, I'm asking Riley if Ezra is related to her. She said, yes, I'm descended from him, but I don't think he considers me a relative. Why? Riley said, I firmly believe that Ezra hates Boulder. He didn't exactly come to our rescue the day. Ellipsis, my people were destroyed. Ellipsis. I'm telling Riley that I'm sorry, Ellipsis. She said, there is no need to apologize. If Ezra hates Baldur, then why is he back here, of all places? She said, he likes it now that there's no one here. At least I think that's a plausible reason, Ellipsis. All I see is rubble. I'm asking her what we do now? Riley said, we need to head to the area where the palace used to be. She said, come on, I'll race you there. I told her she'll regret challenging Ash to speedy. Riley said, we'll see about that. <laughs> System message, Ash is waiting. Give her a head start. One of two response. Ask her to give you a head start. Two of two responses. Button. Okay, 
say this? Ask her to give you a head start. Respond. I'm telling her that if she's so confident, then she should give me a head start. Riley said, go right ahead. Off I go. I'm going to beat her for sure. I can feel my heart beating fast, but I don't think it's because of the running. One day, ellipsis, I'll tell her, but right, system, Whoops. one day, ellipsis, I'll tell her, but right now, I'm going to win. System message, 21 minutes 46 seconds, use master of time to skip busy timer for free, button. Use master of time, descriptive, pocket watch, Des phew, what a workout, system message, Ash and Riley are racing, phew, I only managed to tie even though I had a head start. Riley, memory oracle, ah! but I don't, I can feel my heart beating, one day, system message, phew, what a work, I only managed to tie even though I had a head start. Riley is fast. How does she? Riley is fast. How does she keep in such great physical shape when she spends most of her time looking at flowers? Riley said with a confident smile, "You know what, Ash? I bet you can't beat this flower girl in a fight. I used to spar with your brother, you know." No, I didn't. Ellipsis. Riley said, "Ash, I'm sorry. Ellipsis. It's just those were some of the happiest days of my life, and I like to think back to them." I, Ellipsis. I realize you do not share the same memories as me. I told her it's fine. It's his fault, not hers, that I don't have those happy memories. Riley frowned. She said, please don't blame your brother. Ellipsis. She said, it's just that I think Luther has a good chance of understanding you and you, and if you both give each other the chance. I'm telling her that Kronos told me that he's not Luther anymore. Riley frowned. She said, he's always been stubborn, but believe in him, Ash. I'm happy that Riley has had such fond memories with Kronos. She deserves them. But I'm telling her not to worry about me and him because some things aren't meant to be. Riley lowered her gaze. Ellipsis. I'm asking her who won the fight between her and Kronos. She smiled. Riley said, I used to beat him all the time. But your brother, he's persistent. He would challenge me every day, and every day he would get bruised but badly. Oof. She said, what I didn't notice at the time was that he never got a bruise in the same spot twice. It was inevitable that one day he was able to outmaneuver me on every single move. Riley said, that's who your brother is, Ash. I learned from then on never to underestimate a time first. She laughed again. Riley said, but you told me again and again that you're not your brother. System message, Ash is waiting. Tell her, right, you're not like Kronos. One of two response. Tell her that you are persistent to, ellipsis, two of two responses, button. Tell her that you are persistent to, ellipsis, two of two responses, mess, responded, that's true, ellipsis, so maybe, ellipsis, Kronos and I share at least one similarity. Riley is looking away. She seems to be lost in thought. System message, Ash is waiting. Challenge Riley to a fight, one of two response. What happens now, two of two responses, challenge Riley to a fight, one of two responses, Button. I guess we could do that. Challenge Riley to a fight. Responded, you and I think alike. Uh, uh, I'm asking Riley if she wants to spar with me. Riley said, are you underestimating my abilities again, Ash? She said, I'm positive you can't win this fight. Why do you want to do this? Ellipsis. It's because I want to start building happy memories with her too, Ellipsis. Riley smiled. She said, weapon summoning, Lermelior Magnus, Lancaster. <laughs> A giant lance appeared out of thin air. Well, how is Riley able to hold that thing? It's almost twice her size. Riley changed to a battle stance and she's glaring at me with determination. She said, I'm not holding back, Ash. This might not be as easy as I thought, but Ash will never back down. Here I come, Riley. System message, Ash is charging in. Whoa. Riley grew wings again. Riley grew wings again. She's charging at me. Arg, six exclamation marks. System message, Ash's aura was reduced to one point. Riley struck me down in one hit. She's standing over me and is pointing her lance at my throat. Up, uh, ellipsis, down. I lost. Her wings are disappearing. She's laughing now. Riley said, thank you, Lancaster. Now, Ash, just like I learned never to underestimate a time crisp, I hope you learned never to underestimate me either. Riley winked at me and offered me her hand. System message, Ash is waiting. Take her hand. One of two responses. Don't take her. Take her hand. One of, take her hand. One of two response. Responded. T Riley is so strong. I'm impressed. I took her hand and she pulled me to my feet. She said, Lermelior Magnus, healing petals. I'm surrounded by glowing petals, ellipsis. System message, Ash gained 59 aura. Whoa. Wait, ellipsis, what's in my hand? As Riley pulled me up, she passed something from her hand to mine. It's a locket. She said, open it. It's a picture of Crow Nose as a child. He's smiling and holding a baby in his arms. Riley is standing next to him and also beaming. Riley said, I had that picture made the day you were born. Oh. I'm asking her why she's giving it to me. Riley said, to show you proof that your brother does smile. And I've never seen him so happy as when he held you in his arms. She said, it's a treasured memory from my childhood. But I don't need it anymore because I just made a new, happy one with you. Riley, ellipsis. Riley, ellipsis. I promise you'll have more happy memories. 
She smiled. I'm asking her what we should be doing next. We're looking directly at a giant crater. Riley said, that's what's left after Kronos took Ion. Riley said, now we wait. Ezra has a barrier around this area so we won't be able to reach him. He'll come for us when he's ready. I'm asking her if we know how long he usually takes to get ready, Ellipsis. Riley said, not sure. I hope he's not in one of his trances. Those can last quite a while. Riley and I are sitting down to wait. She opened her inventory pouch and pulled out a griffin egg sandwich. Riley said, here you go. I followed your feedback. She said, try it out. Hope I put in enough rosemary and salt this time. Oh thanks, I'm taking the sandwich from her. MHMMM, ellipsis, this is good. I'm telling her that she got the rosemary perfect, but still could use a bit more salt. Riley is biting her lower lip. I'm telling her don't worry, there's always next time. The more she makes these, the more she'll improve. And I sure don't mind eating them. Riley said, Ash, ellipsis, happy red day. Huh. Riley made the sandwich for red day? It's the holiday where you make food for people you care about, ellipsis. I, ellipsis. Um, ellipsis. System message, Ash is waiting. Tell her you'll cook for her too. One of two res- Tell her happy red day too. Two of two responses. Button. Tell her happy red day too. M responded, I'm telling her happy red day and thanking her for the sandwich. She said, no problem, Ash. I'm glad you like the sandwich. I finished eating the sandwich. System message, Ash gained 37 Nora. I'm telling Riley that I can't wait for the days when we can just eat and relax in the gardens. Maybe we can have a picnic one day. Riley smiled at me and nodded. And, ellipsis, I'm telling her she's always welcome to join me on my travels. She's looking away. Riley said, thanks, ellipsis. Um, ellipsis, I'm getting a little sleepy. Riley said, why don't you take a nap? I'll wake you when Ezra comes to get us. Gosh, that's really nice of Riley. Well, I'll talk to you soon. System message, Ash is napping. Three hours, use master of time to skip I busy- I like that. Use master of time to skip busy timer for free. She's looking away. Riley said, gosh, well, system, Riley is looking over me. She's shaking my shoulders. Riley said, Ash, it looked like you were having a bad dream. I'm rubbing my eyes. It's the dream again. I'm explaining to Riley. She said, I'm worried. You should let your brother know. I'm telling her that I didn't tell him because I don't trust him. And I know she's going to tell me to trust him, but I can't. Trust is earned. And Kronos certainly hasn't earned mine. Riley said, I won't push you. I just wish things were better between you and your brother. I'm looking past Riley. The air is getting thick. It's waving, shimmering, and becoming solid. It formed into a palace. Okay. I remember Riley telling me before she left to speak with Ezra, that Ion is actually the Valdorian royal palace. Riley said, R, Ezra is ready. We're inside his room now. <laughs> I'm asking her if this palace is Ion. I know she told me Kronos put a spell on Ion to camouflage it with a different appearance than the Valdorian royal palace. Riley said, yes, this palace is my home. The insides are as I remember them too. But it's a replica created by first mage Ezra. Still, imagine my surprise coming here and seeing, ellipsis, my old home exactly where it belonged and exactly as I remembered it. Riley said, Ezra said it was easy to replicate everything. Though, it's very odd to me why he didn't replicate the palace he lived in back when he was Baldur's king. That's what I want to know. I agree. Not only is it strange Ezra would replicate a palace he never lived in, it's weird to me he would replicate any Baldorian palace. Riley told me he hates Baldur. I'm asking Riley if she spoke to Ezra about why he did it. Riley nodded. She said, I asked him. He told me it was a reminder. A reminder of what? Reminder of what? She said, that's all he said. I got the feeling that Ezra isn't one for small talk. It would make sense, as the first king of Baldur, for him to have this castle. But like you said, I thought he hates Baldur now. Ellipsis. I'm asking Riley why someone with so much power as Ezra cares about my answer to some question. I mean, can I really change Ezra's mind? My hands are getting sweaty again. I'm wiping them on my cloak. Riley said, Ash, ellipsis, I'm sorry to put you through this. I told Riley I'll be fine. I'm a professional at doing what must be done, ellipsis, even if it scares the lights out of me. I just hope I can do some good. Riley smiled. I should never underestimate a time crest after all. She quickly added, you don't have to say it. I know you're not your brother. I should never underestimate Ash. That's right. I'm Ash Elgin. I'm smiling at her and she's smiling back at me. That reminds me, Ellipsis. I'm asking Riley why she never told me that she was the one who left me with my folks in Lyle. And why she never came to visit me when I was growing up. She said, Ash, Ellipsis, I thought you would ask me that one day. Riley said, where should I start? I didn't, huh? Riley ah. said, where should I start? I didn't tell you, Ellipsis. I never came to visit because, Ellipsis. We are shielding our faces from the strong wing beat of an emerald dragon that is descending from the sky. Whoa. It's Ezra. Hi. The swirled around as the dragon landed and Ezra hopped off its back. Ezra is looking directly at me. 
His piercing, emerald gaze is unnerving. I'm telling him that at last we meet again. He raised his hand. My pocket watch is glowing red. What's going on? Ezra said, don't worry. It's temporary. I don't want your human friend to interfere with your answer to my question. System message, Ash is waiting. Ash, can you hear me? This response is strangely darkened, suggesting a spell may be blocking it. One of two response. Does this mean I can't talk to you? This response is strangely darkened, suggesting the response appears to have been blocked. Responded. I'm asking Ezra what he responded. A T M M V just men with it. So R R Y S C. What? Okay. I'm asking Ezra what he means. Ezra said, I don't mind if they listen in, but I need the answer to be yours and yours alone. So I guess you can't talk to me. I'm looking at Riley. Riley said, I'm sorry, Ash. We have to play by Ezra's rules for now. I'm nodding. I'm telling Ezra that I'm ready. What do you want to ask me? Whoa, ellipsis, everything faded to white. It's just me and Ezra, and nothingness. It's just, Ez it's just me and Ezra, and nothingness. It's just white, all around us. Ezra said, Ash Tynecrist, if you had the choice between saving all of Valencia or just one person, which would you choose? That's it. There's nothing to think about. Of course, I would save Valencia. Oh, ellipsis, everything faded back in. We're back where we were. Ezra is smiling. He said, we'll see now how strong your conviction is. Uh-oh. Ellipsis. What? This can't be happening. Four exclamation marks. Ezra, what have you done? Woody, uh-oh. Ellipsis. Riley, ellipsis. Riley, ellipsis. Riley, three exclamation marks. Please don't die. Three exclamation marks. No! Ezra just came at her. She didn't even have time to react. Ellipsis. I didn't have time to react. Ellipsis. He punctured her chest with his hand. Ellipsis. What should I do? Please help me save Riley. System message. Ash is waiting. Put pressure on the wound. This response is strangely darkened, suggesting a spell may be blocking it. One of three responses. Run away. This response. Ask Ezra to save her. This response is strangely darkened, suggesting a The response. Responded. Oh, ellipsis. There's so much blood. Ellipsis. What should I do? What should I do? Can't you hear me? P Riley. She's reaching her hand out. To Can't you hear me? Uh. Tell me what. Unmuted. Why is there no music playing? Riley, she's reaching her hand out to me. Riley said, Ash, ellipsis, please don't cry. I, I never meant to make you cry. Tears, ellipsis, my tears are falling on Riley. She's touching my face and wiping them away. Riley is smiling up at me, but tears are streaming down the side of her face. I'm taking her hand into mine. Riley said, I'm such a foolish girl. Why am I crying? It's too late for tears now, ellipsis. All those years I just let the time pass, ellipsis. She said, it's much too late to do all the things I wanted to do with you, to say all the things I wanted to say to you, Ash. Her eyes are closing, ellipsis. No. Why? Why, Ezra, why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Hold on, guys. <sighs> uh, why? No. No. I'm not going to lose you. I promised you more happy memories, Riley. Ash never breaks eight. I'm smashing my head on the ground. System message. Ash's aura was reduced to one point. I hope you can hear me. When I die, I want you to turn back time. That's not going to work that way. We can save Riley. System message, Ash is waiting. Stop it. We don't know if it works like that. This response is strangely darkened, suggesting a spell may be blocking it. One of one responses, but stop it. We don't know if it works like responded. Her it's probably good I could hear you now. You're probably telling me to stop. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if you can turn back time on command, but I'm going to die trying. I feel blood trickling down my face, ellipsis. But it's not fast enough. I'm going to run my head into the boulder nearby. That should do it if I go full speed. Here I go. System message, Ash is waiting. I said stop it. One of one response is the response shimmers green indicating magical power. Button. I said stop it. The response shimmers responded. System message, time is frozen. Six seconds. A palish blue dust circles the screen. Awaiting a mess. Use master of time to skip busy timer for free. Button. Mess. Responded. I said. System message, time is frozen. Hunt. I thought I was charging at the rock, but I stopped moving. Ellipsis. At. Ellipsis. Ezra is gripping me by the throat. Ezra said. Interesting. I'm punching at Ezra. There's no time to waste. Riley is dying. Ezra said, you truly are an idiot. You have no idea what the human did. I'm telling him I don't care. If he's going to continue to grip my throat, he might as well finish the job and kill me. 
Ezra said, that girl is dead and there's no way to bring her back, even with time magic. No, I don't believe it. I can save her. Ezra said, accept the truth and move on. It's what we all have to do. A-R-G-H-H, -H, five exclamation marks. Ezra, why did you do this? Ezra said, this is what you wanted. No, how can this be what I wanted? Ezra said, you have a short memory. You told me you'd save Alencia over one person. I didn't mean, Ellipsis. Ezra said, you killed Riley. I, Ellipsis, I killed Riley, Ellipsis. Just kill me. I'm begging Ezra. I know we can save Riley. Ezra said, you're pathetic. Listen, human, I'm going to kill Ash. It's your move next. This guy is crazy, Ellipsis. But if he kills me then, Ellipsis, Riley, Ellipsis. Ezra snapped Ash's neck. An Turn back time, one of one res- Turn back time, one of one responses the response shamers green responded. System message, connection, seven hours, fifth, skip timer for one skip crystal. Skip time alert, not cancel, buy more. <laughs> no, why skip did they- uh! Memory notices, shop, button, no music, pocket watch, button. Mute, pocket watch. All right, button. pocket watch. Close, close, Morty, time, infinity pouch, button. Time, I Gener currency, gold, I real time for can see dragon berry elixir. He drink button. Alert. Dragon drag okay, okay. Time crystal. Go back. Use three use master of time. And use back. master of time to there we go. Me memory remnant. The broken shards of Riley's amulet suddenly glow. Okay, okay. Button. Chapter nine. And that's the end of chapter eight, guys. Not the best way to end. Unfortunately. So 2001 the curve chapter nine top menu back top menu there you go hope you enjoyed sort of not enjoyed but you know what i mean i hope this was helpful anyway peace out so that's it for today's video if you guys have any more questions please put them down in the comments below or you may send them to info at the tech piano player kid.com you can also give me a text at 913-312-1325 and if you do not live in the united states you can text me through whatsapp and give me a call there as well I also have a toll-free number that you can use to give me a call at 877-318-8775. Please also follow me and like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. And you can also join my discussion forum on my website where you can ask questions about technology and help to answer questions about technology for the blind and stuff like this by going to thetechpianoplayerkid.com and clicking on the discussion board page underneath the navigation bar menu where you can register for a free account and help to answer questions and ask questions if need to be. Please make sure that you get permission from your parents if you still need to do so before making an account. Just to make sure that you're on the safe side and that you don't want to get in trouble because we don't want that to happen. And you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter if you wish by going to my website, thetechpianoplayerkid.com. Again, if need to be, get permission from your parents just to be on the safe side. And you can unsubscribe at any time if you wish and you have any trouble with unsubscribing or creating an account or deleting your account, please let me know and I will do my best to help you out. Anyway, that's it for today's video. God bless you all, and peace. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. For questions, please send an email to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give a call or text at 913 312-1325. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kit, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. Black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kit displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille, then fades to black.